Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Waco, welcome to the 187 Monday Night Hangout. Applause sound effect. <laughs> Tim, you just sounded like a fuck yeah, like a fucking. <laughs> That's right. No more, no more effects. No more. It like glitched oh. out when I started it, and yeah, I thought the stream was broken. But it's they're just... trying to get everybody weaned off of it for when it's gone on the twenty fifth by making the app non loadable. Yeah, why didn't they just not do anything? <laughs> oh, good, Derek. Derek to the rescue with that one. Yeah. Dropping them claps. Yeah, you better watch out. The YouTube Illuminati is going to get you. They don't want you using fucking sound effects, dog. I know. We got the return of Shade Tree and Lee tonight. It's been a while, gentlemen. Yeah. Glad to see you. No shit. No doubt. It's good to be back. Been, uh, been a lot of shit going on, so I haven't had time to do live stream, but I am glad to be back. What's up, everybody? What good up, man? Been. Missed you. Missed well, you, how's man. life going, man? How's all the situations over in... Uh, you're part of Tampa. What's up, Jessica? What's up? It's uh it's it's good enough. You All know. Right. One day at a time hey. kind of thing. Yeah, it's, that's uh, you know, her mom's home now, so good. Well that's what you gotta do. Is she staying with you guys for now yeah. or do you wanna talk yeah. about it? Uh she, no, yeah, she's pro she's staying with us um indefinitely. Okay. You're a good man. So Stepping up, but guys. it does look like she doesn't need as much care as we thought she was going to. Like we've been leaving her alone and stuff, and she's been all right. So it's, it's some of the the cogn cog cognitive stuff that they said was going to be really bad isn't as bad as they thought it was going to be. So that's, that's that is that's very good. good. That's yeah. awesome. That's good. Yeah, no doubt. We're still not comfortable leaving her like overnight or anything like that. Yeah. But like we leave, like we went and rode dirt bikes today. You know, so. That's 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 a pretty it was a huge step because you know when she first moved in I was kind of like well my life is completely changing it's like it's like having a kid but you know without having nine months to prepare for it you know yeah that's one thing that could piss you off though the doctor giving you the worst case scenario which you know I guess that would be kind of right but at the same time it's like scares the fucking living shit out of you dude my my mother in law several months back she got really sick and she get was hospitalized she had to come stay with us for two weeks and and dude i didn't even really mean to do it but it upset my routine so badly and it upset my and plus you gotta have, you have to keep in mind i work out of the house so uh, dude it just it upset everything so badly that i before i knew it i was being a dick and i didn't even realize it like i was just being a bear about everything and it was just because my routine had gotten so thrown off and I, I was so discombobulated by all of it and you know you got to keep in mind you know we're like you and Jessica we never had kids we never had anything like that it's just always been me and Sharon and so instantly having another human being in your house in your 1500 square foot house it, it's tough dude so I I can at least empathize with you to an extent for the tired of it where is the same yeah I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've, kind of, I've kind of felt that a little bit, you know, but it's not, I don't know, man. This is what it is, man. I'm adapter parish. I'm pretty valuable. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's where the side chat's saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am a creature of habit, guys. A big time creature of habit. So, well, I'm glad things are going smoothly and I'm glad that her problems are not nearly as bad as they were saying. And hopefully that means that she will mend more than they are thinking. Too, well, I mean, yeah. still, um, not to like bring this down right off the bat. I mean, she's still got to get chemotherapy and yeah. radiation therapy and all that shit. I mean, they took the tumors out of her brain, but she still has, she still has cancer, you know? Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, that's what I'm saying. Just kind of like one day at a time, you know, I'm not really sure what the future is going to hold. Roger that, man. Well, on a happier note, I just got back from four days of badass riding in the Texas Hill Country yesterday. Four days? Fuck. Yeah, we left, We rode Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, we left Thursday and rode once we got down there on Thursday, close to the town where we were staying, and then we rode all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then we came back, rode back 220 miles Sunday. So it was four days of riding. Shit. Fuck yeah, that sounds fun. Put it that, that, like that place you went to that was like like a dry town. Remember, I was like, man, that looks like a cool place to go, and you're like, there's not even a bar. Yet. 
<laughs> oh no, man! This is uh, this is not in West Texas. We actually completely left West Texas. We went to technically, I guess you would call it South Texas, but it's this area that's just called, and everybody here knows it when you talk about it. It's called the Texas Hill Country. It's basically west of San Antonio and east of a place called Del Rio and south of a town called Kerrville. So there's this really beautiful geographic area there that's uh, rolling hills and windy roads and green lush cedars. And I mean, it's just a really, really beautiful place. And uh, so, yeah, it was very different. But And, and to answer your question directly after over explaining, uh, every place is wet there. There's no place you can't get a beer in the hill country. <laughs> 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 Fucking get up in them hills. People like getting fucked up. Yeah, people like to party. Damn McDonald's and shit. Te- hill country, Texas, Saturday night, man. For sure. I feel like every time Tim Kreitz leaves West, West Texas, like babies die in their cribs and crops wither. Crops <laughs> 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 wither. <laughs> I do spend a lot of time in West Texas. In fact, one of the things you'll hear me talking about in the video is that I need to make a point of riding out of West Texas more often because I had, I had really, I really had a great time. I've kind of been dealing with some shit before I left. It's nothing big. It's just in, it's just me, me shit. It's kind of hard to explain. Not, not to be one of the sad fucks in the video you were talking about in your video, Shade Tree. You know, but I don't think there's I, anything wrong with talking about it at all. Yeah, I, I just uh, your identity is a whole different. Yeah, man, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of at that point where I'm kind of considering some, some. It's not depression or anything like that. I'm just considering some pretty drastic life changes, and uh, they'd you know I kind of had a lot on my mind, and that was the ultimate decompression tool. Like for four days, it was just me on my bike, 200 or 300 or 400 miles from home writing and seeing what I could find. It was just total adventure, total relaxation and fun, man. Everybody needs to be doing that. You all need to go do that. I love it. Uh, yeah. Or you could take the alpha route and go to the doctor, right? Yeah. Just fucking get some pills like I, I ain't do. doing that, man. <laughs> I'm not taking prescription drugs. Yeah. I mean, well, nothing, it's, 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 nothing it's, against it's, them. Pills. I mean, that's for recreation only. Horse <laughs> power said Tim is getting divorced. No, I am not getting divorced. I'm not from my wife. That that thankfully is as wonderful as it has ever been. I may be getting a divorce from my career and trying something different. We'll see. I don't know. He's yet. slow midlife crisis. Tim's getting a boost on some flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rolling up yeah. to SCM and a fucking do rag in your helmet on the mirror. Yeah, I made some life changes, boys. I've embraced the thug life. I don't know what the fuck, <laughs> <is>, but <laughs> this sweet new do rag and striker vest. I fuck, I'm move, I'm moving more bars across West Texas than a fucking uh, tornado. I don't know. What My, mild six foot stretch. <laughs> Coming out of the closet slowly. Yes, Jason, we did go to Leaky. Lakey is actually what it's called. I had half the people call it Leaky, half the people call it Lakey. We did go to Lakey. It was it was really, really, really beautiful down there. Where's uh <laughs> where's Kingsland, Texas at? Kingsland, Texas is near San Marcos. I mean, uh, not San Marcos, Texas. It's near Marble Falls, Texas. It's right along. It's right near Lake LBJ, and I'm trying to think of what the river is. I don't know if it's the Guadalupe River or the Nuisis River. It's near. It, I need to visit that place on one of your adventures. Yeah, Kingsland is is also beautiful. It's like the computer yeah, that, that, starship trooper. That's where the fucking you know more about Texas that. Chainsaw Massacre house yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Wicked. Yeah. You need to go visit that shit for a video. That'd be rad as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a sign I really like that. Place that says, if you are here, chances are you saw the movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Please don't get close to the house or we will shoot you in the ass with buckshot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you take tours of that place? Uh, I think that may be true. You've got to so. call ahead and schedule it and all that stuff. That would probably be the best video you ever made. I actually... As far as I actually watch a, a vlogger that you all would consider extremely boring who lives in Queensland, Texas. He's he's in his seventies and he's a, a kind of a one of these nomadic types. Um, he spends a lot of time. He like he sold all of his stuff and bought this big RV and he has it under under a carport on some land in Kingsland and then he spends all his time with a smaller RV 
going and just seeing America and living on the road most of the time. And that and Cape Town is his home base. And uh, man, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to be a gypsy. I hate having a house. Yeah. I want to be a gypsy. I do like having my little house, though. I, I would not give up my little house, but it would be great to be able to be gone for months at a time and just see things and do things, meet people, have adventures, walk the earth. Holy yep. shit, man. Fucking speaking of being a goddamn gypsy, my new goal in life is one of those fucking toy hauler RVs, man. That's exactly oh, what I was yeah. just about to start talking about. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, Lee, did you actually, if, if you follow that link, and I've been, I know a lot about RVs right now. <laughs> 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 you know how it goes you're like i fucking here's something that i can't afford that i want to obsess over for the past two fucking weeks and a lot about rvs so those toy hauler rvs like if you get one like two years old they're like 80 90 grand yeah and that's so a like size class a fucking like like an apartment inside it and they have two different garage sizes. One is like a normal where you can put like two or three bikes side by side. And one is a double where you can fit like four fucking full size Harleys in that motherfucker. Yeah. You can fit two side by sides yeah. in there. I know that because one of my homies, he's his dad's fucking rich as hell. And he's got one of those things that's like fully built out to the, it was like three or $400,000. This retarded, but man, it's unreal. That thing. Like it, it's nicer than my house. Way nicer. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying you can get you can get one for under a hundred grand, which is like you go like, oh, it's all the fucking money in the world. But it's like, for I don't know, that's a that's a that's a doable fucking goal. To be like, I'm gonna buy some. I bought. A, I mean, tell me five years ago I was gonna buy a house. I would have called you crazy, you know? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Hey, Lee, I really like that fucking grenade. I've never seen one plasma cut label label like that. Mm-hmm. What, what? What grenade? The fucking oh, that shorty exhaust for this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like grenade shit. Yeah, that thing's fucking rad, man. I can't wait to get that thing on there. I still, I got to do some work to get it on there. It's not just a slip-on type of deal. Like we were just text messaging ideas and measurements back and forth. So he took his best guess at it, and then I got to kind of final fab the rest of it. But uh, okay. it's gonna be loud. I know that. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be real fucking loud. We're gonna try and whip something up for the Z too. I'm picking up my Z on Wednesday, I think. Oh yeah. So we're gonna make a yeah. miniature version of that for the Z. Speaking of loud exhaust, Jessica made a little kid cry yesterday. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. Kind of, kind of a little babies. Kid. I felt kind of bad. So we were we were working on the excess all day, right? And her mom had some people to visit her, you know, here at the house. And they had two, they had their two granddaughters with them. And one was like 11. The other one was like 14. And I was like, I was fucking had a buzz. I was like, Jessica, go fucking and show them your, show them your, your Bonneville. Fucking fire it up, rev it up and let them, let them hear a thing run. Cause it's, it's loud, you know? And it's, I don't know. I thought that would be cool. You know, like he's like two little girls, see like a older girl with their, Bike. I was like, yeah, rev that shit up. Fucking eleven year old girl starts fucking crying. <laughs> I saw that on here. <laughs> I mean, well, on that Facebook. What the fuck? You fucking eleven? <laughs> Come on, that seems a little old. Reason. And it's like uh, the year two thousand seventeen. I've never been one of those motherfuckers. It's like the next generation is blah blah blah. And I'm just like, hey, you eleven years old, and you cried at a loud noise. What the fuck is wrong? Oh dang, eleven! I just could see if maybe they're like some little ass. That's a good sign. That's that's a good sign. She's gonna Mm -hmm. grow up to be a vegan and march and fucking (laughs) protest. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good sign. Your child is sheltered. You're not trying to talk shit or anything, man. That that comes down to parenting and what you expose them to and what you don't. I mean, her fucking. I felt bad. Her mom came back. You, You know, her mom's like crazy German. Like her mom came back in after because I was like, I'm out of here. I like walked away real quick. I was like, fucking, I was just telling her to rev it up and I was kids crying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally abandoned it. I'm like, I dipped. I was like, see ya. <laughs> it's a toughen her up, man. Shake yeah, a few cats up and throw it at her. Back in. And I'm just like, I'm like, Lydia, I'm sorry. I did not think that that kid would cry. And and Lydia, she's just like, oh, who gives a shit? She's she's 11 years old. She sits in her room and plays video games all day. She could cry all she wants. Who cares? I'm like, <laughs> at least she's feeling something. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I don't know. She's just a weird girl. Like and like, and like she's like pissed about it. Like who cares? I was like, all right, cool. Like if you don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking weird. So Neil, have you been putting that uh, you been putting that handbrake to the test yet, or what? <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, I, I've gone out like a few times and just like worked on my sit downs because I feel like I should get those good before I do try and go all out. So I'm just getting them babies. I'm getting some some decent ones, but not not taking advantage of that yet. You got the uh you got the perfect stranger set up, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're I think they're the only ones that really make one except for those fucking Chinese Changer ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I went for the Made in America. It costs a little bit more, but it's fucking. It's quality. Yeah. It looks really nice. It's, it's yeah. It's worth it. I don't trust my fucking ass cheeks to some fucking knockoff calipers. Yeah, and I ended up. I just ordered their chain adjusters too because the fucking ones on the Z are garbage. Fucking flop. Yeah, that's the first. The I know that's like the first thing I got to get because I'm gonna be launching the shit out of mine. I'm like starting to like <laughs> mentally prep. I gotta like mentally prep for this thing because I'm just gonna go fucking ham sandwich on it. <laughs> oh god, yeah, dude, that's fucking just like rev it up to like fucking eight grand. And just what? it'll fucking come up, but it like comes up so fucking fast and it's like so tiny. You're just like, oh my god. I'm, it take, <laughs> yeah. it take me a little bit to get used to that. We were starting to get sit down circles on him last night. Like, well, I was out with Mike. I didn't have mine yet, obviously, but we we're riding his. And fucking sit down circles aren't too bad. Got to crank the idle up on that thing though. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Oh. It's weird. It's it's weird. We had a little mini bike challenge off last night. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh, filmed no. it. It's, it's gonna like, be. It's so easy to say, but it's the same. I'm sure it's the same thing with the handbrake. It's like as soon as the front wheel comes up, I, in my head, I'm like, back rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, and as soon as it comes up, I'm like, fucking bail! I'm out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> break, break, it break it down. Break it down. <laughs> Dude, I was, was bummed. Oh, sorry. Was Go moving. ahead. Uh, me and this other dude, we like met up and we went to the lot and he's like good. He's like doing stand-up circles and all that shit. And I'm out there and he's like helping me. I was, I was getting like pretty good and we did like a half session and then we like stopped for a little bit and then we went going again. And there was this other kid there. We had like a brand new 17 ground fucking loop the bitch right in front of me. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't have my GoPro on. Missed fucking all of it. Missed like all of the second half of that where I had some like pretty decent ones. I was like, God damn it. Fucking forget to turn my shit back on. Typical. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta figure. He busted out. his fucking rear set too, so then he had to. We like shift it into second. And he just like fucking rode all the way home in second the whole time. Oh, that's yeah. gonna be embarrassing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the one downfall of the Groms. Those things like to break with that cast aluminum. Yeah, yeah, those the things snapped is... immediately. Well, you said isn't the yeah Z the Z setup is perfect. Those things are the, the Z is basically just a KLX one ten, right? Pretty much, or I bought that shifter for it, thinking it would just go right on because they're like, "Oh, the engines are like fucking identical," but it, it's like fucking four inches longer than the stock ones. That's why I'm gonna send it to you, and maybe it'll work on Jess's. And if it doesn't work for you, then you can send it to Lee because he's got the right fucking bike for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bought Actually, one of the, the, the loose racing for that forged. There you yeah, go. Is it? I was trying to know what Actually, if you, haven't, on that you thing. haven't sent it, you haven't sent it yet, just send it to Lee. <laughs> I could use that. I need some foot pegs for that thing. Fuck, it sucks jumping it. Like, it's so bad. It's got, those, it's got those tiny little thin foot pegs. Like, they're not like the street ones like on the Z, but they're they're close. And man, does it hurt. Yeah, you're wearing like regular shoes too, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to fucking full moto gear up on a mini bike. That wow. just looks ridiculous. I fucking, I can't even barely <laughs> ride around my fucking XCW with, with regular shoes on because it fucking hurts. It hurts my feet so fucking bad, dude. It's like <laughs> on knives. <laughs> Uh, we were going, we were going like old school freestyle moto on that thing last night on that jump I shoveled. We were doing like double cans and heel clickers and one footed can cans and shit. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was so funny. Mike, Mike was jumping it on the Z too. It was pretty good. I fucking, I, I was, we were out. They built a tabletop out there, which I was hope. I was, I'm glad they did at the place we go because I feel like, like you can't fuck up a tabletop, like. Unless you just come down really hard on the front end, like how are you gonna how are you gonna fuck that up? Like it's just yeah. It's, so I was like, cool, it's near impossible. We can we can fucking do this, and I was like, I was like, it really showed me that I need to upgrade the suspension pretty bad, or upgrade how many times I go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I like the air you got. You fucking knew what you're doing. That, and well, I that was a that was a couple trial and errors, and that's a probably like I was maybe like three feet in the air, and, and I came down off of that, and I was like, that is maximum. That's <laughs> that's that's it. 
<laughs> There's nothing else. I mean, I was I was like right at bottoming it out. I didn't want to. I don't want to bottom it out because I'm fucking end up flying off the fucking thing. But Dude, I had a dream. Um, I had a dream. Lee was doing backwards wheelies, and during the dream, I realized that it's possible. And yeah. you were <laughs> because you were doing it down into the L.A. River, like the slope going down, right? And you just hit the back brake and brought the front end up and rode it down to the bottom. So it was like, well, that would work. It's it, well, yeah. There's lots of guys that do it. I've done baby ones before on my stunt bike, but fuck, they're scary, man. No, I can only imagine. It, it's it's so weird because you're like you're holding on to everything upside down, so it feels so fucked, and you don't have as good throttle control, obviously. So it's pretty easy to loop it out. But on the bright side, you're facing the right direction to bail off in a hurry, so that's kind of sweet. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I got to figure out how to pull some weight out of that Z2. I didn't realize how heavy that bike was until I was fucking around with it a little bit last night. That thing is, uh, I think it's actually like a couple five pounds lighter than a Grom. hundred and once you, it's like almost 200, like 250 pounds or some shit. That's the weight of a full size dirt bike. Damn near. Is it 250? Yeah. I don't think it's that much. That's yeah. It's pretty heavy, man. So I got to figure out how to pull some weight out of that thing because we're starting to get the foam pit ready to start chucking backflips on those bastards. Once you uh, once you get the um, exhaust off there, that takes a fucking lot off because that, that bitch is heavy. Yeah, well, I, I know when we go for the flip, I'm going to pull off as much shit that doesn't need to be there as possible, like all the gauges and lights and all that shit's coming out. This <laughs> wait a second. Off foot was a weight like 15 fucking pounds or some shit like that probably. Wait a yeah. second, you're talking about you're talking about regular backwards wheelies. No, no, no. This was an anomaly. You were sitting on the on your Harley and you just regular, right? Forward, but rolling backwards down to the LA River and you hit the back brake to bring the front end up and rode it oh. back. Oh, like a fucking reverse manual on like a mountain bike or BMX like or something. Reverse yeah, reverse yeah, stoppy. Yeah. Sort of. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. That'd be cool, actually. I wonder if that'd be possible. Yeah. It is possible. Uh, it probably would be possible. I, I imagine it is. It's just that's hard to do. If back <laughs> it's hard to roll backwards. All I all used to be able to roll back, like roll back on a BMX bike forever when I was a kid. But I mean, that was 15, 16 years ago. I don't know if I can still do that. How does it go? According to the anthropic principle, we have imagined it, so it must be somewhere. <laughs> in the universe. Yep. I guess we could do that. Make make an attempt at it. I'm down <laughs> to try pretty much anything. I'm still after last night. I proved I'm. I'm still, I'm not quite as spry as I was when I was a kid, but man, I was crashing my face off last night and popping out of it pretty good. So I think I can, uh, I can throw her down a little bit longer. <laughs> you got to get that like crash fever though. Like once you crash three or four times in a row, it just, it's like, it doesn't even hurt anymore. You're just like over and over until the next fucking day. Dude, it, yeah. pumps, it pumps you up. Like I was bailing last night and I was just like, fuck yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> Usually when, I, usually when I crash, I'm like, all right, no, I'm, I'm going to the couch. This is, this is not happening anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Last night I was feeling it. I'm just amped up. It's different, I guess. When I crash by myself, I'm like, all right, I'm going home. This sucks. But when I've got people around, it's like, all right, we got we to gotta keep doing this. Still kicking. <laughs> Have you crashed as he yet, Neil? No, not yet. Knock on wood. Well, I mean, it's gonna. I mean, not to be a bummer, but I mean, you're practicing. Oh stuff. yeah, I'm. I'm, fu I'm fully. I'm fully uh, realized the fact that it's gonna happen. <laughs> like I, I, I got these knee pads that go on under my jeans that fit pretty good, and they're like fucking sweet. And uh, I just been wearing those just in case, just because we get like in some wild shit and fucking yeah, driving yeah, through the grass. The fuckers do it, and I, I always like am amazed by it now, just because I didn't wear a helmet for so long. You got so many motherfuckers like. Ripping all these stand-up wheelies, all this wild shit with no helmet in shorts and shit like that. It just seems like you're ask, like asking for it, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. bound, it's bound to happen. Yeah, yeah that's all fucking piles around here. Fucking whole bike will fall in. I mean, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say I anything, even, there ain't nobody's fucking mama, but I'm just like, God damn. Yeah, no, that's that's bullshit. I used to not wear a helmet, only like on a mini bike, but even now I wear one on there because, like, at the start of the year, I smacked my head on that thing. I was like, all right, it's time to. Time to smarten up a little. I'm too old for this shit. I was amazed in Texas how many fucking I, I know I know some states give you the option to wear helmets and whatnot, but I was utterly amazed at the amount of people I seen that were just stupid enough to just not wear it. Like not like they're just like, out. oh, it's not fucking legal, so just fuck it. And then and, and it and they're all older guys and shit. And and I don't know. I feel like Feel like you should just uh, always have one on. I mean, that's just I've seen. Yeah. I've seen this thing save people's asses so many times. 
We do have a t helmet law here. Have it's you just not enforced? Oh well, if that's the case, then yeah, there's a lot of people not fucking following it when I was riding out there. Oh yeah, yeah. I unless... think that's why they're the reason it's older guys is because they're back before you know they started riding back before helmet laws were even. A yeah, it was all the cruiser guys too, like all mostly all the little well, there's, chopper there's guys. There's a little bit of a stigma too, like especially with some of the old school cruiser guys that you know the whole like helmet law suck movement. It's from like Easy Rider and shit like that, but <laughs> I just there's I don't know, man. It's weird. I didn't wear a helmet for, and I've said this a million times, 13 fucking years I didn't wear a helmet. Riding motorcycles every day. Yeah. Um, never wore Was it? Isn't motovlogging the only reason you started wearing one? That's the reason I started wearing a helmet. Yeah. Because I needed, <laughs> I was like, I had to put the camera on something. You can't, I tried before. I was like, I tried to tank. the company to my tank. I was like, I'll just like yell at the back of the camera. Like, didn't, didn't you knock the camera off with the handlebars? Was yeah. It <laughs> But um, you're like, oh shit, this isn't gonna work. Boom! And I'll tell you, and that always always put me in a unique position to understand because it's so hard for people who've always worn a helmet to understand why somebody wouldn't. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, you know why I didn't wear a helmet? Because you just don't wear a helmet. <laughs> right. Like when I started riding, like I bought my first motorcycle for four hundred dollars from a fucking crackhead. Like, <laughs> I mean, just like nobody wore helmets. Like you just don't. Like people wear helmets. Like you'd be like, what helmet? What are you fucking pussy? Like, <laughs> no, but for real, that's what it was. Be like, yeah. like yep. 18 years old. Like, oh, you can wear a helmet, pussy. I know, fucking bitch. It's like, <laughs> and, and they're just, they're just like, and you're like, what well, if you crash? I'll be like, I'll fucking die. Fuck you. You know, like, yeah. and you know, like it just goes on and on, and you just get used to not wearing a helmet. And you just don't. Like, I don't know. Like, I never, I don't think about it. There was never in my head. I wasn't like, oh, I should wear. It. I was just like, whatever. I don't fucking care. Like, does it so, feel that weird now if you don't wear one? Now, oh my god, dude! I can't fucking ride. so much more comfortable. With it on. I'm so it's I like, dude. I used to I put thousands of miles on the highway, like with with no helmet and just like my glasses in the middle of fucking winter, like like <laughs> eight miles an hour down the highway for six fucking hours. And now, if I don't, if I ride down the street with like with my visor open, I'm like tearing up. Like I'm like. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, um, you lose, you lose that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's some fucking night ride we were just on, and I was fucking riding with my visor up and my glasses, and then dude, some fucking huge beetle just like fucking smacked me right in the fucking glasses. I'm like, wow, that would have been right in my fucking eyeball. <laughs> so there's a couple of conversations going on in side chat about my comment regarding the the helmet laws in Texas. Here's here's how the helmet law works in Texas. The helmet law is that you have to carry at least $10,000 of personal injury protection insurance. If you have that insurance, you're, you were, used to be required to have a little sticker on your bike near the license plate that said helmet exemption. So a helmet exemption sticker. But they changed the law a few sessions of the legislature back saying that that sticker was no that the insurance was required, but the sticker's no longer required, and a cop cannot pull you over and contact you solely for not wearing a helmet to check your insurance. So in effect, it it we have an unenforceable helmet law, and I guess the only way you would ever get a ticket for it is if you had a wreck and hurt yourself, or hurt someone else, and you didn't have ten thousand dollars of self. PIP insurance. So it's well, unless you can get pulled over for speeding too, and they check your insurance, and right, and then it's like, oh, you well, have yeah, but they would never they they would check your car insurance, but they can't. They don't have any way they can check your health insurance. So it's an unenforceable law. Is it the oh, same? Just so you don't have to carry insurance on a bike. Yeah, uh, you do have to carry. You do have to carry liability on insurance uh, on any vehicle. Uh, your, uh, another you, another thing is, and this is really odd, is that. That MSF course is now mandatory. It has been for the past few years. When I was teaching it, it was not mandatory. But in both cases, t taking that course and passing it ex also gives you a helmet exemption sticker. <laughs> now, it, 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 that's so ironic that, that to ride without a helmet, you have to pass a motorcycle safety course. It's the ultimate irony. Congratulations. You earned your death certificate. That's golden. Yeah. That's fucked up. I, I don't get why like Michigan had it forever, and then they're just like, yeah, let's get rid of that. Too many people living. Here's the deal. <laughs> um, the, 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 the truth of the matter is that people wearing helmets and getting hurt or killing themselves don't really impact 
the healthcare system, they, they don't really impact anything. They're a drop in the bucket. And so in Texas case, Texas just said, you know what, screw it. Why even bother enforcing this? Um, when a, if a baby boomer flies off the road on his Harley wearing his whatever baka colors or whatever, you know, if it's one of these typical baby boomer, uh, you know, homeless pirate looking guys with the do rag and all that, and he flies off the road and kills himself, he actually just saved the state a bunch of money because there will be no, uh, there will be no, uh, you know, old folks home. There will be no uh, expensive health care late in life during the six months of life when you're nine years like a Logan's old. run scenario here. It, it kind of is a Logan's run scenario. <laughs> you know, one of the arguments, and, and I, it chaps my ass every time I hear it, is that, man, these people not wearing motorcycle helmets are taxing they're they're putting a, a burden on the healthcare system no they're not they're they're a draw they're a grain of sand in the sahara desert compared to fat people people with heart disease people who smoke you know people who don't eat right i mean if we're going to make people wear helmets that's fine but we also need to now regulate a, a very strict diet for everyone no more mcdonald's no more being overweight. If you're overweight, we drop your health insurance as well. I or, smell. I smell a Tim Crates vlog on this one, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's sort of a libertarian viewpoint. It's that libertarian viewpoint that always comes out with me. But, I think uh, I think you should. I think you should. I think that'd make a great vlog. I can see the title would be so fucking good. Fucking yeah. vlog. Tim Crates says fuck helmet laws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. I will never ride without a without a helmet. Um, you know, but I, I don't think that the laws do any good for anybody. I mean, if everybody rode motorcycles, like if we had 200 million people riding motorcycles in the United States, that would be different instead of a couple of million. Well, here, how about this? And this will kind of help with that whole Social Security thing and the drain on the state. Everybody's required to have a motorcycle and nobody's allowed to wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a... <laughs> Our helmet law. We have a helmet law, but it's not what you. It's not what you're thinking. It, it, you get a you get a helmet if you do wear a helmet. Yeah, I mean, you get like a ticket if you do up. wear a helmet. Yeah, it'd be like turning up natural selection on an Dude, amplifier. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that would be. Turn up natural quick. selection to eleven. Yep, <laughs> to eleven. Yeah, so I'm, I'm all for it, man. I'm just a and not to sound too jealous, but like you know, fucking survival of the fittest, motherfucker. Man, even those fucking half helmets, like those shouldn't even be a thing. Like, do you really think that fucking salad bowl is gonna save you? <laughs> you know, oh, I love let me that. Tell you something, half helmets work great as long as you don't land on your fucking face. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, like you, yeah. you literally, you have to land like on the top of your head to get yeah. anything. Otherwise, you're fucked. Yeah. If I you can go guys. into a somersault at the point of impact and land on the top of the helmet, you'll be just fine. Yeah, I called the guys. Uh, I was selling. I got a seen it for sale, right? And this guy got with me. He's like, "Can it fit on a uh, open face helmet?" And I looked at his bike. I was, I knew exactly what he was talking about. And I called it a brain bucket. Uh, and he got offended, like super. I was like, "Well, it, yeah, Cena's don't work for brain buckets." But he's like, "What?" Okay, <laughs> thanks. And never told you didn't fucking say. I don't know, man. Like I said, I can understand why people don't. And it's and I'll tell you it's easy, especially as someone who's worn a helmet their entire motorcycling um, career, whatever you would call it. Um, it's 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 I understand how it's easy to look at someone who doesn't wear a helmet and go like, what the fuck? Yeah. But just as someone who's done both, I can sit there and tell you like, it just doesn't even enter into your head. Like, yeah, and I will tell you guys, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Since we've been talking about this, I've res I've been wondering whether I should mention it or not. But full disclosure. When we were on the Hill Country ride, um, the rest of the guys in this little motorcycle rally, motorcycle meetup down in the Hill Country that we went to, they were at a hotel right down the street, like three blocks down the street. And one of those nights, I actually rode down there without my helmet on. Just whoa! Whoa! Yeah. whoa. Did yeah. you at least have Tim's leathers on? Three whole blocks. <laughs> yeah. That's enough to protect you. <laughs> I should have had my leathers on. Somebody oh, call the police! <laughs> But that's the first time in over 15 years I've been on a moving motorcycle without a helmet. And I immediately realized why, because I freaking hate it. My eyes were watering three blocks, maybe four blocks. And by the time I got there, my eyes were watering. It's loud. All you can hear is the wind in your ears. You can't even hear your bike. And believe, believe me, if you can't hear my FZ07, the wind is loud. Dude, so I will, I will tell you, as and I've... Posted that picture of that guy in flip flops and raging. Confirmed. Tim is a squid. 
ironically, <laughs> because and I, almost ironically, I have ridden my motorcycle in flip flops and a bathing suit so many fucking times, <laughs> and it would it like literally like balancing a trash bag full of dirty clothes on the tank, riding with one hand in flip flops, a bathing suit, and a wife beater down to the laundromat so I could fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the whole thing i fucking 13 years i only had a motorcycle i haven't mm -hmm. this jessica got this truck that's this is the first car i've owned since i was like 22 yeah like i'm fucking you don't need a you don't need a fucking car in florida like it fucking never gets cold enough to matter i know my car breaking down has made me start riding a hell of a lot more of course you don't have a choice you know but i like it like fuck that van <laughs> I might burn it. People are like, "What? What do you do when it? What do you do when it rains?" I'm like, I get wet, motherfucker. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. What do you think happens? What's the status of the rocket, by the way? Um, and it's in for paint. Oh, so, good. Well, you're going full bore with this bitch. Dang, uh, you painted yeah. a new color. Yeah, just getting some I'm customized gonna, shit. I'm gonna keep. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't really care that much. I'm you doing black. No, I've ne I'm white. I've never had a white bike before. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? shit. Oh, yeah. That's expensive. Are you, getting that, majestic. Uh, are you getting that pearl Triumph white like I have on my Bonneville? It's going to be, it's not going to be that, but it is a pearl. I'm going to do, it's a It's a white with a pearlescent gold. Oh, yes. yeah, dude. Oh, it's, man. It's, a, it's like a Cadillac color. Fuck yeah, that is, <laughs> that's so Florida. You need to get some gold chains in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Some, some cut off knuckle gloves. Yeah, and no, oh, yeah. it's very, it's very like it's very 1987 Miami, Miami fucking white. Awesome. It's gonna be fucking. It's gonna be pretty obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking care. Well, here's I always the have deal, That's fucking awesome. You know, you cover you any will, surface. Oh, you will know if it was actually a well-designed bike with good lines if you paint it white, because oh yeah, uh, they they will not paint a bike white. And I mean, white is the color they use when they're making the prototypes to make sure they didn't screw anything up on the lines of the bike. And well, so I'm excited it, to have it white because it's a it's a big bike, but yeah. when you paint something white, it will make something look massive. Yeah, yeah, comparatively, like black, black. And I'm sure you guys on this black makes things look small. Um, That's why us fat guys wear black t-shirts all the time. Yeah, and exactly, black thing. Black, black is very slimming, <laughs> yeah. and white is going to make that. It's going to look like this just great expanse of tank in front of me. You know, I'm I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I'm going to do a stripe on. It. I'm going to do a gold stripe, um, a gold flake. By the way, gold flake stripe outlined in black, just because I feel like that. That's a good triumph thing. That's a big triumph thing. Yeah, yeah, it's traditional triumph. Yeah, the, the gold on the gold on white color. Yeah, the gold, the gold racing stripe with little black pinstripes on each side of the gold, separating it from the white. That's that's like mid '60s triumph Bonnevilles. You know, that that was a, a paint scheme. So I I just yeah. feel like with that much white, if it's just white, it's gonna it'll look kind of ridiculous. It'll just look like too like just weird if it's all white on top because the tank's so fucking wide. Are you doing the frame white too, or are you leaving that black? I was gonna, I was gonna powder coat the frame because it's down to the frame, but you can't fucking yeah. see it. Anyway. Like you can see like two inches of it, so it'd be such a fucking Cry bitch to be clean too. It'd be yeah. just fucking, it'd be a bitch. I am gonna, I'm the rims are getting powder coated, powder coated gold. Dude, it's yes. gonna look awesome. Yeah, glossy black frame with the with the white tins with the gold racing strap and the gold wheels. That's fucking perfect. Yeah, gold dude. wheels, and then every every piece of chrome is getting powder coated black. I cannot wait to see it. Ooh, blacked out. That's gonna be sweet. Yeah. Which I'm that's good. This guy Mo that's doing it, he's good, man. Because let me tell you, with white, it's like there is. And he doesn't even like doing white because white is really hard color to paint because there is a fine line between cargo van and and Cadillac when it right. comes to painting something white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it such a bright white that it almost glows a cyan blue in the sunlight. 
it'll grab the sky and it'll grab the you know certain rays of the sun and reflect them and it's you know some white is too bright it almost doesn't look white when you're looking at it in direct sunlight <sighs> motorad's got it i'm gonna do a review yeah, it's just with like a cloth a cloth sport jacket on with like a pastel shirt <laughs> 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 you gotta have you gotta have the sleeves rolled up don johnson that shit <laughs> Rolled up sport jacket, the pink tie. It's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing those. Dude, those you can rocket do, videos coming back. You could do the Miami Vice theme song too. Or uh, Miami, or no, 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 fucking uh, Magnum PI. Do that fucking theme song. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. Then Jessica could paint her uh, her Speedmaster in the uh, orange and yellow and brown stripes like TC's chopper. Oh yeah, that was yeah. a huge forty-two. Yeah, really it was good. very good, Billy. I told you I was used to be skydiver. Fuck six. So I've I've found a new favorite YouTube channel. It's not motorcycle related. Speaking of aircraft. It's this dude called Air Force Proud 95. Has anybody in the side chat ever heard of this guy? He is hilarious. He's a young dude. He's a, he's a, he's in college going, going to flight school to be a, a, a airline pilot. And he's a pretty accomplished pilot. And he does all these flight sims. And one is a, like a steam flight sim that turns into a bunch of hilarious fuckery. And the other one's called Bat Sim. And it's like a serious... Uh, sim with with actual atc and you got to have i mean it's like flying an actual you know airliner and then he's got all these other funny videos of him and his buddy flying small airplanes all across you know south florida he's in the daytona area you get i'll, I'll give that guy a shout out even though he has like you know 20 times the subs i have but whatever he the dude is hilarious you would like it billy since you have a, also have an interest in aircraft i would fucking like it because I, I always, every time I watch that shit, I always think the first thing I think of is like, how would you jump out of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, how would you exit from this aircraft? Some of them is like, I thought about the 747 thing, and then they did that, and uh, now I'm like, how would you jump out of uh, Comanche, full speed forward? That'd be <laughs> death. <laughs> you ever seen a Comanche helicopter, boys? Oh yeah. yeah, it's like the new. It's like the new thing. That thing's fucking fast. It can go faster than a Lamborghini sideways. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's amazing. That sounds fun. Getting, getting that strafe on. Strafe. No Vegas. This is just an old clown hat I made. I just got it backwards. There. Dude, that's straight. That's some straight Scottish <laughs> style. Back road McMahon. Yeah, it looks like some Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> McMoto. Oh, would, would, you, would you like to go golfing, boys? We can fucking I'll jack you off at the ninth hole. Sounds <laughs> like a party to me. What's, What's up, up, you up you man? Oh, just stressed out in in yeah, and it's hot. <laughs> oh, You're no. in California right now, right? Yeah. It has or gotten hot yet. out there living the fucking dream in his moto van. My God, everybody feels sorry for him. Yeah, <laughs> moto yeah. gypsy. I know. I'm an I'm an asshole. <laughs> moto gypsy. <laughs> moto. That that should be my channel name. Yeah. For <laughs> B Rad, it'll be Moto Gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No, till, uh, right. I see you're doing things. you're doing what everybody fucking talks about doing. You're right, but you actually fucking did it. Yeah, and re realizing That's how freaking difficult it is. <laughs> yeah, I was That's wondering. Good, I was wondering about yeah, that. Hit us, up, hit us up with like a top three things you didn't expect could be, to suck about it. Um. Well, I guess the biggest dilemma right now is the fact that YouTube's sucking right now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah. yeah, that's not making things easy. I mean, like it'll all be fine. Like I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll, if if I cut it short, it's because I'm tired, not because like I can't, you know, like financially do it longer. But it's definitely a factor. But uh, no, it's it's going well. Otherwise, I guess the hardest part is uh, just like sleeping. Honestly, it's like I I don't 
usually know like where I'm going to sleep or, or what. And it's like, you're so you just, you ride all day and then you got to edit and then you got like three hours left to, <laughs> before you got to wake up. So what about yeah. running water, like straight up water pressure? Even if oh, I mean, I, mean I, I haven't, honestly, honestly oh. I haven't even like done real camping yet. I've pretty much been staying at people's houses or apartments. Oh. So it's not, it's not like, hard to find a shower and stuff i've showered almost every day since i've left so I you, you can make your... about, about to say i haven't even taken a shower yet it's no big deal. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's always nice to have a place to poop that's not a fucking restaurant oh dude yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can make a you can make no, a you, gravity you, shower man circus shower where you put you learn you, a bladder <laughs> on top of the van yeah i'm actually i want to do like a a tank mounted under it with a little pump but i've got like a six gallon jug of water that I could technically take a shower with, you know, a very conservative shower with if I had to. But, a conservative uh, shower. Yeah, it's pretty easy, <laughs> man. You just uh, you <laughs> screw a water hose onto a fucking camelback on top of your... I'm just like imagining a conservative shower that means you do it with like a baby on or something. Was it armpit <laughs> yeah. asshole? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is the most conservative shower ever. I've got a baby <laughs> on and electric. <laughs> Armpits, asshole, dick, and teeth. Oh, man. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Big has got an armhole, asshole, dick, dick and teeth. Yeah, those are the important. <laughs> That's um, right there, man. <laughs> you can do five minutes. I mean, less than that if you just concentrate on those areas only. Yep. But yeah. No. I mean, I mean, mainly it's just it's exhausting. Honestly, like I'm I'm ready to go home almost and just sleep. <laughs> oh but, yeah. Uh, but you can't. It's hard to complain when you're having fun doing whatever the hell you want, essentially. So dude, Vegas girl had it right. It's fucking pooping, pooping, uh, worried about pooping in a good place, dude. Poop in a bread bag, shit in a bread bag. I've, I've got a uh... <laughs> get the full how experience. Times, how many times? Because I bet you could count. How many times have you pooped outside since you started this trip? Not a single time. <laughs> not oh, a single time. Lucky nope. son of a bitch. Man, no, you ain't Moto Gypsy and hard enough. To <laughs> <that> yeah. <laughs> No, oh, I've got the uh, the five gallon Lowe's bucket in like you know a bunch of bags from from Walmart if I have to. So. You got all those little <laughs> soft emergency port port toilet uh, seats that goes on top of the bucket. No, not even not even that. Are you just going straight fucking? You're going hard straight straight life. Yeah, I mean I haven't even had to use that either, but I'm sure the time That's will come. Good. Have you peed in a jug? Uh, no, I came close. I considered it, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just I haven't even done like I'm disappointed. I I, I want to go camping. We're actually we're going to Ocotillo Wells. Um, oh, uh, it's third, Ocotillo Wells, by the way. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Every who, who's no, I've never heard a single person say Ocotillo. Yeah, mm. never. I've been there so, a that times. must be some weird ass California shit. Because well, I mean, you, get, you never hear it right until Tim Crates. Then yeah, I, well, I'm probably <laughs> wrong. But it, out here, we call Tim, it Tim 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 Tim. <laughs> but, uh, Yeah. Anyway, that that'll be like my first actual camping. So we're gonna stay overnight just in the middle of the park, I guess. And that'll that be sweet. Is so ridiculous. Yeah. Here's another like, good hack, Brad. Oh, you get a five gallon bucket. And then bolt a toilet seat to one side of it so you can flip it up, sit down on the bucket. The uh, pretty good. The uh, the pool noodle idea is good. You just put yeah, a pool yeah, noodle, yeah. like yeah. split it, and put it around the room. <laughs> yeah. Dude, on on your way back, you got to go through Utah and hit Caneville. I I don't think I'm gonna do Utah now. I think I'm gonna go back in the fall because it's starting to warm up places, and I think I. I've got people in Oregon and possibly BC Canada that are kind of like waiting for me to yeah. come trail ride. So I want to go hit those places. Oh, and by mean? then it'll be kind of time to go home anyway and like take a little break. So you're going to get to ride with Meg Braps, fucking that's, Instagram superstar. That's the, uh, that's the plan. So um, what's the deal? Is she single? Are you going to go up there and make some fucking <laughs> crossbeat? <or what? laughs> oh, Bang into my van, watch the bang the van. <laughs> All right, no all right, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I don't even know who you're talking about, but that's funny. <laughs> you go look her up. It's Meg's Braps on and her Instagram. is pretty fucking, pretty she fucking. Is, cool. She's just a pretty she's amazing, an like, incredible rider. Uh, yeah. Um, and then there's this Chris Hunt dude in Oregon. Uh, oh yeah, his brother. Right I know his brother Mike. <laughs> 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 
See what I did there? <laughs> That's a thinker, man. It's a big funny. I was I was gonna slide a joke in about that, but I figured, I figured no no one would laugh and it'd be really awkward. <laughs> oh man. So what's up? You get anybody knocking on the windows? You didn't bust it at all, like sleeping in the van by like um, parking lot security. Just, just Jake uh, yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the garden snake comes knocking on the van yesterday morning. <laughs> like, like fucking no. lizards all over this fucking place. Jesus Christ, man, I can't get me to sleep. No, so I, he was. I guess he was staying at Rev Bomb's house, and I kind of rode on the seven hundred one ride out on my Yamaha just to like piss people off. <laughs> and uh, so I, I like parked outside of Rev Bomb's, and Jake in the morning comes. He's like hello and you know is dicking around making a bunch of noise outside he starts like <laughs> vlogging through the window <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sitting there like sweating balls because it's already 90 degrees out and uh yeah so but no i've had, had pretty good experiences sleeping in the van so far cozy Do you have air conditioning in there nope that's oh, the uh fuck that's the one problem. Usually at night, it's it's like perfect temperature. You know, it'll get down to like sixty five. But then, as soon as that sun comes up, you just I'm drenched in sweat like every morning. Yeah, it's it gross. sucks when the heat is your alarm clock, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not a good way to wake up. Fucking, that's how they do it in Mexico, man. Fucking when it gets hot, you wake up and you fucking get to work. Yep. <laughs> wake up so if hot. You could put, like if you could put like white on top or something to like reflect some of that heat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, not, probably not enough to make no, a difference, dude. You're, you're inside a of a. You're in a pressure cooker when you wake up, basically. Just is it, isn't there a way to? Because people do make little RVs out of them. Isn't there a way to run a generator on it and run AC? Or? Oh yeah, I could. Yeah. It's just I, I just I mean I haven't got that far yet. It's this is, get, this is what do you mean you haven't done more, every single thing to it yet, Brad? Like. This is Suzanne the Motovan Mark One. <laughs> Mark Two will come over the summer. They sell like little uh, RV um, air conditioners that you can install in fucking anything. You just got to cut it like you need to do a sunroof. That's what those little, they look like storage facilities, and there's two of them on big buses. Those are air conditioners. Yep. Yeah. And they're fucking nice. They well, do I'll look. tell you, I see a lot, of, a lot of older vans here. Not newer vans, older vans. That somebody just took a sawzall to the side of it and mounted a window unit in it. So, <laughs> right, oh dirty. my god, <laughs> there's oh my god. no way in hell I'm doing that. <laughs> I see it all the time. It's like always like old C 1500s and shit. Like, yeah. with like some dude is just like cocked in a window unit into the side of it. And you're like, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> I'd say yeah, you so could put much one on the side, I guess. Sorry. Gertie, you're heading Gertie, back yeah. home. Ocotillo. Um, Ocotillo. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Ocotillo. Everybody's telling me Ocotillo in the side chat, not according to Mr. Webster. It's and we Ocotillo. all love Ocotillo. 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 What does Webster know? Yeah, he can't trust that computer. I don't know. He was yeah, a cute little kid on TV, well, so I'm sure his dictionary is just fine. Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't know. I'll probably be out for another another month or something before I'm back home, like end of May, maybe early June. April, May, June. Yeah, June. Ocotillo. <laughs> oh, uh, later, Baker X Derek rolled out. Later. Yeah, peace oh, out. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. on. Derek, before you, don't, don't leave. I think he's still watching you. Oh. Here, all right. I, I was meaning to talk to like him and Sub D and Arson about, about riding over the weekend. So are you still in here, buddy? Hello? Hola? Oh no, he said okay. no, he's leaving. No. Oh. He said fuck off. No, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh man, yeah. everybody loves yeah. listening to you speak, Derek. He's just like I never have shit to say anyways. That's it's not true. Every time you open your mouth, we shut the fuck up, don't we? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll 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 message him or something. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> So what's a, did you ride with uh, with uh, Joey Mack and Dana yet, or what? Yeah, yeah. So I I'm at Dana's right now. We uh, yeah, we went riding twice. Uh, yeah, twice. Ooh, look, we came back for you, we Brad. Pull Derek back in. Oh, he's back. Well, is he? 
Oh, I, I, I can't even hear you. Oh, I'm getting a beer, my bad. Oh, there you go. So, uh, so what's it looking like for riding this weekend? You want to meet up? You. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm not. I, I never do shit. All right. Well, uh, uh we'll figure something out. <laughs> Where you're out here right now? Yeah, I'm in Elsinore. Oh yeah, you're real close. Oh, well, not close, close, but closer than you'll ever be. <laughs> close, close enough. Yeah, it's only like. 40, like 50 miles from, from where I'm at. Yeah, that's doable. Sweet. Dang, that'll be a fun vid. Oh, yeah, and, then, uh, and then shittily fucking Arson's in out of town for a week. Oh, damn. Oh, he's not going to be there to make it? Well, we got to get, we got to get sub D because he's been trying to ride, but apparently he only rides on the weekends and masturbates the other five days or something. Yeah. <laughs> It's just yeah, he's got he's he's got one of those fucking <laughs> those baby things that fucking tend to fuck up your life and all your time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So let's uh let's all let's try and us three or and whoever else I don't really care who comes uh yeah. r- ride sometime this weekend. Yeah, I'm, S- I'm that Saturday you. Saturday or Sunday because I'll be in Acatillo. Through Friday. So. What bike are you gonna be on? Uh, pro- I'll probably take the FC unless we want. Well, yeah, if Sub D's <laughs> going, he'll be. I on mean, that. I mean, it's I can off road with you, but I'll I'll be on my Grom. But I mean, if you're gonna be out here, and I know you're you're one that likes off roading, I I would. I would rather treat you to some nice off roading rather than the roads, but it's. Oh, I'm. D- no, I'm getting plenty of off roading. I'll. I'll be fine. I'll. I'll probably be ready to just like do a, a street cruise and go explore or whatever. So. I could. Yeah, I could take you up Highway 18, like, and we can go up like to like like Arrowhead or like Gregory. It's not like super far, and it's just a beautiful ass fucking scenic route Arrow, all the way. Arrowhead up. is awesome. Man. Yeah, that that'd be cool. That sounds yeah. good. Uh, that's I usually see, my. I want to see Beaver right on the mountains. Do both. Do both. The mountains. The mountains. Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Sounds fun. I can't wait to get to California and ride uh, your roads there. It's going to be so easy. Dude. Straight. Oh, my God. I love straight. <laughs> <laughs> you got the opposite problem than what everybody has. Like, there ain't fucking a mile of straight road within no. miles of where you are. No, it's curve, 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 slow, 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 suck, suck, sucks. Fuck. I live in like the straightest you road know. place in existence. Uh, I would beg to differ with that. I would challenge you on that one, sir. Yeah. I, I, shit, I live I live in the prairies, man. It's nothing but flat and straight everywhere. Yeah. We probably have very similar riding environments normally. I know there's a yeah, lot of certainly. riders that would love it here, you know. I mean the fucking like the dragon, a lot of people don't realize the tail of the dragon and deals gap and stuff. That's nothing. And that's not, that's just one of the roads that's close to some some cool stuff. The rest of the roads are way harder, man. They're just they're they're sketchier surface, I would say. But because I mean, like like I go ride. Do, do you know TJ at all? Supermoto dude. He lives right around you. No. Me? Oh, anyway. No. What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I know. Is it Rocco Rocks? There's a couple others reaching out to me right now, but Rocco Rocks the only guy. So, uh, I mean, we've we've done hundreds of we do 150 miles in a day on the supermotos uh, through all the mountains in North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. And somebody get a feeling like somebody's going to be your team afterwards. Yeah, and there there there's definitely some sketchy roads there. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, there's a, a lot of it. You you don't expect these 180 degree switchbacks like right exactly curves. Yeah. You're like, oh, this will just be a 90 degree nice curve, and then it just yeah. keeps going when you speed up. You're fucked. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's scary shit. Yeah. What's up, Defobra? What's up, dude? It was good, man. Fucking dude, it was so cool getting to meet you. Like, I wish <laughs> we had more time to get like go out and like get fucked up or something. Uh, that was that's a cool, cool video. It was totally worth the drive to see you. It was so. And like I said, I gotta thank Jess for not telling you anything. I mean, <laughs> you were definitely surprised in that video. I didn't recognize him at first. I was at first. Of, at first, you were kind. You were kind of being. Shade tree dick in a way, man, because you know it's like what do you want to in, drink? They're in front of they're in front of all these taps with all the beers you have, and they're like, "What kind of stuff do you have?" And I could tell you wanted to say, "Motherfucker, look at the taps one foot in front of your face." <laughs> That's my nice way of saying it. I'm just like, 
Who so we got? We got. I'm like, I always just say back, I got a lot. Yeah, we got a lot. <laughs> Which is, you know, if I'm being a dick, I'll be like, I got 25 beers. Pick one. <laughs> but, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's a. What do you say to that? I mean, somebody says, "What do you got?" I'm just like, I don't know, you lazy piece of shit. Like, <laughs> fucking <walk around. laughs> oh, it's so funny. I guess that's the difference between you know working for someone and working for yourself. Like, Dude, why don't you just say like, <laughs> why don't you just say we got Bud Light and just leave it at that when they <laughs> we got Bud Light. Well, because people like I just I always ask people when they come in and someone's like, "What do you got?" I just go, "Well, what do you <laughs> normally drink?" Because then I'll like I'll point someone in the right direction. You know? Yeah, I'm not a bartender. Like, I name all the beers that you ain't got no idea what they are. Like all these beers that are only brewed in Florida. Like you ain't gonna know what the fuck that is. Why would I say even say it out loud? Like you tell me what you <laughs> like, and then like I don't waste my breath being like, "Oh, I got fucking free dive and night swim and like and all these beers." Like like it means nothing. You see the blank look on their faces as I rattle <laughs> off these names as they go in one year, what the other, just like, uh, I'm like, yeah, that's what I expected would happen. I'll tell you what I do, man. When I'm in a place like that, that, that someplace like the Flying Saucer or, or something like that where they have just a wall of taps, and you, I mean, you don't want to be a, you know, a burden on the help. And so what I always say is I think of what style of beer I want to drink, and yeah. I say, Bring me, if this is a style of beer I want to drink, bring me what you recommend off the taps in that style. So if I want an IPA, I say, on an IPA, I'll let you pick what kind of IPA you think, you know, that you like best or the, or that sells well or something like that. I, I'll do I'll do a similar thing. And then normally it's just like, give me a lager. Like, yeah. Give me an American lager. Exactly. That's anyway, true. it was really awesome getting to meet you, Defober. And if you had it been was, there for like a night where we could have hung out, I would have showed you the town like nobody yeah. would be in business, man. I tell you, it was pretty cool around that area. Um, but I, I, I got to tell you though, that driving there, that is the most probably the most boring ride of my life. It's <laughs> I mean, going across Florida, like you could drive, like here, you could drive two hours from my house and you could be in, uh, you could be in Brooklyn, you know, it's it depending on the traffic. There was no traffic. I mean, I took like the beach line and uh, I four. And it really wasn't that much traffic. So you're just driving and driving and driving. And then all of a sudden I was in Tampa out of nowhere. But it was really cool down there, man. The shame didn't disappoint. It was totally surreal meeting you, though, because and I never met you in person. But, like, I feel like I knew you. And yeah, you yeah. sitting there. I'm like, what? you can hear me in this video. My wife's like, who, who are we going to go see? And I'm like, that guy. He's <laughs> so you behind the bar. <laughs> and I just walk up there out of nowhere like, hey, what's up? Because I had lost my voice too a little bit, but it was just, it was cool, man. It was totally surreal. You had no idea who I was for like the first 30 seconds. Yeah, no, I was like, I was, I was caught off guard. Let me tell you, if any, nobody, I know you show your face now, but Defobra looks like, like Bruce Willis with hair. Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. That's true with hair and glasses. I don't yeah. know if that's a compliment or not. I mean, I don't know how to take that. That's what, that's well, what I, know. It's, I don't know if it's a compliment, but it's what you look like. It right. depends on if a, I guess it depends on if a 20 year old guy's ever fucked your wife before. <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, the shame is cool, man. I would, if I was around there, I'd definitely hang out there. It looks like a really chill bar, man. Really cool. Well, I mean, you saw how it is. It's all like you know, people are mostly fucking regulars. You know, it's all like nine, not like ninety percent of the people in there are like fucking I've known for years. Yeah. Uh, Everybody so knows your hey. name. Too. It seems that way too. That's the vibe it puts off that there's a regular crowd, and it's usually a good it's just weird. It's like everything about the dirty shame is like it's just like a, it's it's just backwards it's like we're we're a regulars bar in a tourist trap like it, it's just like we're like it's like born to lose or something you know it's just like it, it's like you ever meet those guys who just like put themselves in the worst situations possible and then just like persevere anyway like for some fucking reason even though they can get out of this that's what it's like it's like we're in the biggest tourist destination in tampa but we're like a regular a locals only spot. Yeah. So it's just like the bar is like full of locals. And then like every night there's like some drunk ass tourists from a fucking, you know, square state, like wandering in thinking it's a fucking beach bar. And it's, <laughs> it's, I feel like it's the adversity that actually, that makes people like it so much. I don't it's know. so weird that there's such a, like a, such a, 
tourist contingent in Tampa. Like if, if I had to pay, you are the only reason I would ever think to go to Tampa. Like, like now, if I, the next time I go to Florida, it's to go to Tampa to see you, you know, but if I were just like, Hey, honey, let's go to Florida. Let's plan a vacation to Florida. It would not be freaking Tampa. That'd be like the last city on the list, right? The, right it's behind the, Pensacola. It's the, it's the beaches, Tim. Everybody goes to Treasure Island and okay. Beach. And um, let me tell you, fucking uh, Fort uh, Fort Myers. Um, but some of the beaches down here are ranked like in the top five in the world. Wow! And so people like come down here for the beaches, and then they go out to Ybor City as well. Um, because it's not that far from the beaches, and then also Bush Gardens is a huge yeah. draw. A lot of people, oh, Bush Gardens, yeah. People come from yeah, the world to go to Bush Gardens, and then um, the Tampa Convention Center is a gigantic convention center, and you get conventions from all over the world there. Like two years ago, they fucking hosted the Bollywood Oscar. Like, it's, it's wow. shit. Like, yeah. Well, plus you guys have major major league sports teams as well, so I guess right. there's some of that. A lot of, tra a lot of travelers for that. There's a big fight. This is boring shit. Anyway, people come to Tampa. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing's wrong with Pensacola, by now. I just can't think of anything of note in Pensacola that would attract tourists. That's all. I know I miss the Alify. My uncle still fucking crabs out there, but like at the tip of the Alify River comes out into the. Gulf of Mexico, it's <clears throat> Crab I have, City. I have a feeling that for me, Florida, especially Tampa, inland Florida would, or not inland Florida, but the Gulf side of Florida would be a lot like California is for me. Every time I go to California, I think, man, I just want to move out here. But I would probably be more apt to do that in Florida, so I'll probably fall in love with it when I come out. I know if you're cool with uh, ugly older women, then yep. You'll like it. You'll love Florida. <laughs> Fuck it. No, there's a lot of, I don't know, from what I've seen in Shade Tree's videos alone, there's quite a contention of hot chicks, in, at yep. least in the Tampa area. Those are 18 to 25. Um, beautiful so, fucking, beautiful hey women. Hey, man, it doesn't matter. I'm a happily married man, but even if I wasn't, it's important to remember that age disparity in sexual relationships favoring the male is widely accepted in Western culture. Speak American. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know why? Because the women here don't wear any fucking clothes. Nice. Like, they can't yeah. fucking. They, they don't. Like, everybody wears bikinis and flip flops everywhere. Oh, like, I, I noticed that. shows up into the bar with a bikini top on and short shorts. Like, nobody even blinks an eye. That's what people fucking wear. That's my kind of bar. <laughs> Gotta get over there. Well, in Ebor City, especially, it's close to the bay and. <clears throat> yeah, what is it? I think when I was getting off, is it I four? You right off? You right off four off I four? I think it is right. Or I four, I yeah. Yeah, I four is a lot like, like we have the Long Island Expressway here, the LIE, which is like crazy. I four reminded me of that, but it's not as much traffic. But so that was, you know, that was pretty cool. But I will tell you, that beach line, you can fall asleep on that thing. Holy cow! Yeah, that's some pretty boring driving, man. Yeah, but it was cool. It was definitely cool. Well, I appreciate you coming out, man. You got to come out again sometime. That ex obviously that extends to anybody like in this chat and fucking like associate with like you like. There's people in the side chat right now, like um, Palm Beach Rider, uh, Pacey Moto. Let me look at all these people. Baldy, six one three, um, Taz. Uh, who are, these guys have all been to the shame. Like they've all showed up. Fucking, I got Palm Beach Rider, his old lady, and Jay drunk as fuck. <laughs> Um, Taz has been shit hammered at the bar a bunch of times. Fucking um, Baldy six one three was hanging out like after hours at like three thirty in the morning. Like it was fucking pretty cool. <laughs> Ocotillo. <laughs> Ocotillo. Anyway, man, I fucking totally interrupt uh, B Rad talking about that fucking room room Joey Mac ride. I want to hear about that shit. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. We didn't really get into a whole lot. I I got pressured into trying to ride over a guardrail that's like two feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that picture. <laughs> and uh, it it almost went well. It almost went well, but uh. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. There's it's, there's crazy terrain out here. Lots of giant rocks and 
crazy features and stuff, but uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we didn't we didn't find any uh, bears or uh, biting bears. rattlesnakes or uh, or uh, human remains or cash. <laughs> So. <laughs> you didn't get robbed by a black guy. Yeah, no, no, we didn't get get robbed by a by a black friend of ours. <laughs> I love it when uh, when I meet like some dirt people and they're like, "Dude, you should guys watch this guy on YouTube that teaches people how to." They taught this one kid how to jump over a cinder block embankment out in the middle of the desert. So you should check it out. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll look for it. Dumbass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've I've been giving Dana sh shit the whole time about the clickbait and stuff. <laughs> Good. Derek, I was Derek. I'm responding to you. This if everybody on the panel wants to look at the our side chat there, I don't know. Derek was asking a question. Oh well, yeah. I don't know. I don't uh, really. I, I don't want to bring any attention. At the same time, I like it's something needs to be. Like, I don't know. You want to like set the story straight, or do you feel like that'll be like? Oh yeah, dude. I got your back like a butt crack. Yeah. I I mean I don't know, man. It's like it's the difference between like stirring the pot and setting it. Let me let me do this. I'll I'll tell you what. I'll give a low key a low key explanation of what happened and what's what's been going on. But I've been. I've been. I, I haven't talked about any of this on my social media or my YouTube videos, but there was a certain someone and if you watch my videos you you will already know who the fuck it is but there's a certain someone don't need to don't need to drop names or nothing but there's a certain someone i rode with in the past that before i rode with him i only met one time at scmm and anybody who's been to scmm will know how many people there especially with me arson sub being everything we're, we're literally hanging out with everybody there right so you can you can obviously be hung out there, but it wasn't no personal level shit. So me and him hung out there and uh, end up fucking, we, we we just wanted the dudes talking in the little circle and having fun. Well, I ended up fucking giving him my phone number because he was, he was local and he seemed really cool at this, at the SEMM. And over time he would just, he was, he's one of those people that text you random shit just to fucking like, like random shit he's doing that like blow your phone up and it gets annoying at times. But you know, I let it go. I let it go. Well, we ended up meeting one day and riding and, uh, of course, right into the ride, he crashes and it was unfortunate. Obviously that happens, but no one predicts that shit happening or obviously tries to make that shit happen. So after he crashes, we go visit in the hospital all the time. I put up a video if you guys seen the video my description was nothing but love for him it was nothing nothing that had to do with me it was literally just like nothing but go to him to support i get put nothing but his links but shit like that i take everything that has to do with me out of the descriptions everything i just nothing but love for him right well he got so much love from everybody from this and whatnot right well i ended up after the hospital visits he, he goes home from the hospital i'd still get the i we i'd even go fucking ask him and text him all, all the time to see how he was doing even out of my own fucking will so I I ended up not hearing from him for a while. I even texted him before, and I wasn't getting a response back. Well, it turns out he lost my phone number, or got a new phone or some shit, and he DM'd me. And if you guys know, like my my DMs are fucking. I rarely ever see all the messages in there and all that. And it got his DMs got flooded and shit, right? Well, he took that as in. I was ignoring him, and somehow he got my phone number again, texted me, and goes, I understand you don't want to be a, a friend, my friend anymore, and you want our friendship to be, like, saying friendship, like, like he's arson, like somebody that's known me since I was a fucking kid, and he goes, I understand you want our friendship to be over, blah, 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 and then he, he said something about wanting me to take down anything that has to do with talking to him. And then are talking about him. And then when I go to reply to him, he blocks my number. So I don't, he didn't ever even got a reply from me. And, uh, and after, after all this shit happened, we, we did go back and forth a little bit, but it was just, um, it was just him telling me that, Oh, you fucking didn't reply to my shit and trying to make me feel like a bad person. Cause I didn't give him my phone number. And mind you, I've only hung out with him one fucking time. And, um, after all that shit happened, I end up getting fucking, he ends up fucking filing shit against my channel that has him fucking talked about on my shit. And I'm like, bitch. 
And what? and on top of that, he starts posting shit. And mind you, he conveniently blocks everybody that's hosting SCMM. And he starts posting shit that he was told that he wasn't allowed at SCMM. And that he literally went out of his way to say that somebody contacted him saying he wasn't welcome at SCMM. Let me tell you one thing. Me, Arson Suburban, have never once in our lives told one human being that they're not welcome at the event. If anything, we say every walk of life is available there or can go there and is available to just fucking come hang out, can't hang out with us anywhere, come to the hotel. I even specifically say you don't even need a fucking bike to go there. You can hang out with us in a car. He ended up going through all this slander shit and and attacking my channel and i haven't talked about any of this i'm letting this shit ride out to see how far it's going before i mentioned anything but he ends up attacking my channel fucking um slandering our meat and it took it took him getting called out and i guess he stopped talking about the, i don't know i'm blocked on the shit i never even cared to try fucking looking anymore but and in a dumbed down version of an explanation of this, that's pretty much what happened. And literally all this because I didn't respond to his DM and gave him my fucking phone number. All this, and all this from that. And 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 that was the most sociopathic thing I've I, I don't think I've ever seen such a crazier person. I really I, I think I might even have all the text messages and everything still. So you know, if ever if anything ever comes out of this where I need to we need to show some shit, I got everything word for word. So I just, I don't know, I just, anybody that's fucking, like, supporting this guy or what he's doing, he's, like, the most fakest person I've ever seen behind scenes. And and for us, for us, me and Arson, we fucking went and visited this guy in the hospital, fucking showed him love, asked how he's doing, and all this shit all the time after he gets hurt, and just because he loses our phone number. Do you know how many people have my phone number and 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 that don't text me? And it's it's just it's just one of those things. People have fucking lives and they go on their own will and whatever. And and literally all this happened from a guy I hung out with one fucking time. And that one fucking guy. And remember, Mr. Potato. I'm sorry. I remember you talking about like riding with, and that's what brought this whole fucking deal up. Is that one fucking guy ruined my my want to ever even just like chance riding with anybody anymore? Like that that one guy. It took that one fucking guy to just ruin all this for everyone else. It seemed like. I, and, actually, I've noticed that on your channel, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Anybody anymore? I, which I can't blame you. Like. And yeah, I'm on. Sucks. I'd go out of my. I'd totally go out of my way, way to ride with anyone. I fucking don't give a shit. But now when it comes to this shit, like. I, I'm totally fucking over it. Totally. Like I that that fucking the, the amount of shit that fucking went through all over me not giving some guy my phone number. It was literally equivalent. Think of when you were fucking like 14 years old and you got your fucking first girlfriend. Imagine imagine them imagine that jealous fucking girlfriend that you didn't fucking text them back like in five seconds after they text. It literally felt like that feeling. Like you're in high school again and there's some fucking some dick drunk fucking chick you're with that's fucking like crying because you didn't fucking text her back in a second and and this is a like i said a guy i met one fucking time and and all this resulted from that and totally like fucking blew this shit out of the water and, and this, like, this is the nasty other side to like what yeah. we do where we put ourselves out there and and like our personalities out there and everything like that and where people like you can like the Fobra, you just said it you felt like you knew me i feel like i know you like mm -hmm. i feel like i've known you for 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 years and then it's like there's people who we've never spoken to who feel that same way. Yep. And it's like that is – and it's like – and th this is a perfect example of that going awry. And that I'm sure, especially for like really larger YouTubers, like millions of subscribers and stuff like that, is probably happened to them dozens and dozens of times. Yeah, there, it, it's funny because – if from everyone's perspective, they don't even know this shit's going on right now. And like, this is the one thing that's bothered me the past two months in this fucking dealing with this fucker. And, and, oh man, it's, it, it's, it's been quite a shit. I wish, I just, I just don't want to go into too much detail right at this very moment. Because and I think you, you, know right I think now, you laid, you laid but it I literally just laid down on the line, like the whole, the whole process of, from from meeting to what happened to what happened and then all so that's like I pretty what I just said though is like the full result of of everything happening all because I didn't respond to a direct message of my phone number and I'm I'm one that don't give my phone number at all easily anyway so that was you know that was just like a little chance and look look at that I go out of my comfort zone one fucking time 
and that shit happens. There's there's the exact reason of why I'm who I am, why I'm such a private person, because I don't fucking like that kind of shit in my fucking life and like to deal with and and like those people, like man, he just fucked it up for everyone on that guy. So that sucks. I just I just had to throw that out there. Fucking SEMN's a whole different story. We all fucking hang out there. That's a that's a whole different ball game. We're all together there. But, but it's understandable. You know. I mean, you've always and since I've been watching you, which is basically since I started watching YouTube, and that it goes that way for a lot of people. There's a lot of people, established motor bloggers, who were the first people they watch, just because you've been doing it for so fucking long. And you've that's always been your channel. It's like always super private. Always, and it's just like. Fucking respect, you know that's your fucking thing. Like you can't. Yeah, it's it's up to somebody. It's up to the person if they're gonna hide their face or not. If you got a problem? Who fucking cares? And if they do have a problem with hiding their face, it's the worst thing in the world to say. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? And the obvious is like fucking. You don't do that. So and so there and so there. Your ad, you, you, your ad's taken off. I just want to say bye to him. Later, dude. Oh, peace out, Brad. Later, Brad. Oh, see you guys. Sorry, I had my my mic muted. Hey, okay, bro. <laughs> Sorry, man. I didn't mean to. No. Didn't mean for us to. Hey, no, no worries, man. Hey, no, no, man. Hey, hey, you, you got you got Twitter? Or, uh, fucking. Cause... Uh, no. Fucking. Um. Here, I'll I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll put my number in the side chat. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I I okay, know right. I know you're not gonna be the person I'm talking about, so I don't don't think I'm <laughs> fucking feeling this way towards you. So. I don't know, man. I probably will be, but uh. <laughs> I already got a fucking representation of who you are, and I met you at, at Texas, so you're good. All right. Uh, well, I'll hopefully see you in a few days then. Hey, totally, totally. Grab right. my fucking word. Yep. All right. See you guys. Safe travels. I'll be ready, man. Yep. But um, yeah, I just I, I literally just had to lay that line. It's been itching at me, and it and it and it, I seen him putting these videos up, acting like such a he, he's. You want to fucking talk about playing the victim? Oh my god, I've never seen it done so bad with this guy. Holy shit! Holy shit! I wish I oh I can't wait till I can just. And you know what? I'm you this mad about anything. Ever. Oh no no no! And it it cut it just got down to the level of I seen a his post saying that somebody contacted him and said he wasn't welcome at SEMM and just just right there off the bat on top of everything else that was like the cherry on top that just was like you know what fuck this and dude besides me. I was the only one that even gave him attention and hung out with him. I, I went out of my way to go fucking hang out with this guy and, and do this shit, and he fucking pulls his shit on me. Like, and and he's fucking bringing our, our whole event into this shit and all that. Like, man, our, our event is opposite of what that motherfucker said. We don't tell, we tell everybody they're invited. We never once told anyone that they can't go. And the fact that he wants to go that extent and block us all and post some shit like that, nope. I, I, want, I want everyone to know this, so... So they could fucking, you know, give him whatever the fuck you guys want to fucking say. But that that's what's going on. I don't I don't want you guys getting misled like I did from the guy and have him put in some fucking rosy cheeked ass performance in his videos and acting <laughs> like he's a fucking victim. Anybody like I feel like any and again, I that's anybody who knows you from this. Like we all know each other as as much as people who have only spoken online can know each other because we've been doing this for years. But it's like. It's like it, to me, it's it's flabbergasting. I'm just like, how could anybody fucking like? I get how people could say bad stuff about me. Like I, that doesn't bother me at all. De uh, back road moto. I get how people would say bad stuff about you. Like totally. Sure. But there's like certain people online that are just like, how are you gonna say something bad about that? Mother? I'm not the nicest person to like. You know, I get I get my hate comments that I respond to like tenfold hate, and I'm shocked people never see those. But I can I can be fucking dirty at times and fucked up, but it's to the people that that deserve it. Obviously, I don't <laughs> fucking talk shit on nice supportive yeah. people. But exactly. I mean, I. Mean, I I don't know. I'm shocked you even say that, Shade Tree, because I'm not the cleanest fucking PC person out there. So. No, you're not. But you're, like, well, you're like, cleaner. You're, genuinely, you're just a genuinely like really nice. It comes across yeah. in your in your video. I appreciate yeah. it, though, dude. Like, I re and that's why I really hope you fucking come out, man. Because I want us to have a fucking a, a chill time in person without fucking cameras, without having to worry about going offline yeah. in a while. You know, I want us all to just get drunk and fucking have a good oh, time. No, we're gonna we're trying our best to make it out there. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. I know you got I know you got your stuff going on, so. You you know, but you know, anything ever comes around, or you got any time to come out here? You out here? You just yeah. you know, you know, you got a place to kick it out here. 
But it's like that that exact thing. I get why people can watch my videos and go like, I don't like that motherfucker. Like, I get that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bother me, you know, because I know who I am in real life. I just don't get how someone can watch your videos and be like, I don't like that motherfucker. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, me neither. Like, every time I see the, the, the list of thumbs down on a bigger channel that I like, or the, especially if it's a friend of mine, it bothers me. It's like, who the fuck are these people? Why the fuck are they doing that? There's always going to be those assholes. Oh, yeah. Like a thumbs down. I'm what about you, Lee? You been getting some fucking haters lately or what, dude? No. No? I feel like you, you got, like, the cleanest, like, love to hate ratio ever, man. Like, nobody has I've, I, I had one... <laughs> Literally I one. You don't deserve it because you're a fucking asshole. But I, <laughs> I had literally one comment in like the last I don't know fucking six months. One comment. Someone called me an emo faggot, and I just laughed and fucking was like, all right. Hey, <laughs> you are you are an emo faggot. You son of a faggot. There's also those accounts out there. They're just those people that like that. That's they get off on that. They're like, let's let's go on YouTube and have some some edgy comments today, and it just probably yeah. gets this thing out of their system, and that's just their thing. Yeah, that's that's the only one I've ever had. Surprisingly, I've had well, like I, mean, I don't know. You do shit, like, you're like out there on the fucking street doing mad illegal shit, like yeah, uh, being a total I, fucking dick, like talking shit on stuff. I'm just like, how does this motherfucker not get like mad? Hate I know. I've been waiting for it. Like I expect it. I I don't get it. Even on my well, I guess I've had like the odd one on like my crash video and shit because that one's like the most popular video I've got. Obviously. The odd person has said like a couple. They haven't been like total hate though. They've said like shit that actually makes sense of like because I was coming head on towards a minivan and shit. And I was like, oh yeah, you're fucking right. I'm an idiot. Like <laughs> those are the worst ones. Like those are the ones like like I'm just like when they they, they like take you down in a whole paragraph and it's all right. I'm just like, man, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I feel like I'm being called out by the principal right now. Shit. Like. <laughs> I don't know who could hate on Lee's latest late stuff. What's he doing that's so bad? I mean, he's like he's doing wheelies down the street, and you go, ah, it's this fucking guy. He's just so nice. So let him. Well, do that, it's a, it's a jealousy thing when it comes to people like Lee because he lives in a certain yeah. lifestyle, which is perfect kind of lifestyle. It's what you want to see, right? And they're like, I want that. Thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say this. Does uh, Elvis Presley know you took his glasses? He's yeah, dead. He, He's dead, so I don't. Fuck He's okay. With it? Holy <laughs> shit! He died on the toilet. That was some nice shades, brother. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. People, people seem to love those those hate comments, I, and I have fun with them, you know. Like, yeah. Oh, you, you're I, you're like a Picasso when people come after you. It's and, but let me tell you, you know, like I could post like twenty of those a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, literally, they're every single day. I fucking feel bad. Like I don't want to post too many because I like. Yeah. I don't. I feel like it's boring to, to to like post too many. But like, I'll do like. Oh, I'll do like one a week. But I get like. I could post multiple ones every single day. <laughs> you get a good, yeah, you get a good amount. I go through your comments a lot of the times in your videos, and I'm just like, holy shit! And it's funny because you fucking respond to every single one of them, like, which just like <laughs> the most brilliant comebacks every single time. It's fucking entertaining. Uh, I had to stop that. It was just like, I, I, I feel like a lot of the, I don't know because they don't, a lot of like most of them never respond. Like most of the times when I leave a comment back, like people never respond, and I'm just like, did anybody see this? Like. Did I just spend like you know like five minutes of my life just making a comment to fucking thin air? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Especially when it's really good too, where it's like, oh, I got you, motherfucker, and I'm like, I fucking got him, and I like, I'm just like, I just like waste my time. People don't listen, man. Even if you fucking try to drill it into their skulls, they're gonna go to sleep, wake up. And it's like it never happened. They're gonna go back to running red lights and fucking cut in line and being a dick. I just, I just like getting someone to the point where they like they turn into an internet tough guy. That's like my very, that's my guiltiest pleasure online, is getting yeah. someone riled up to the point where they're just like, well, I'll fucking beat you up in real life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah dude, that is the epitome of trolling. You. Are oh no, that just makes me know. I'm just like, dude, that's like such a gratifying feeling. I'm just like, I just won so hard. Like, there's no <laughs> other. That's a gold medal of winning an argument online. That's like, like that. part of the YouTube experience is having fun with comment rebuttals. Yeah. Just like yeah. back. That's like that's like a whole part of YouTube in its own category right there. 
It, but you know what it is, Derek. Like when you fuck with someone long enough, because back in the day when it was still linked to Google Plus and you could tag people, like I remember we used to tag each other and be like, "Oh, look, this motherfucker's talking shit. Let's get in on this." And <laughs> fucking, uh, I like how you used to be able to tag people. Yeah, and fucking... you get these comment threads that were like four hundred comments long, of just like going back and forth. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's something the public should really know that because yeah, you just kind of admitted it. If you attack one of us, we kind of, <laughs> you're fucked. We you it's have we will come <laughs> raining down on you. <laughs> Especially if you're wrong. Holy shit. I do anyway. That's why Snowcat was like, hey. Or this other guy, I mean. Some oh, fuck that anonymous guy. guy was like, <laughs> hey. Let, let's uh, Skype call so we can figure this out. I like you. I was like, okay, let's do it. And he blocked me. Huh. Like, okay, fine. I don't care. I don't care. I cried for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. You ever cry? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever cried? <laughs> it's terrible. Ocachito. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at the side chat. I don't think if I uh, I don't think I mentioned this to you guys yet, but I just didn't want to <clears throat> say that. <clears throat> Oh, Ocotillo. That's why, that's why I'm, is, is, uh, if you design it. I want to, I want to rename my bike Ocotillo now. You should. <laughs> okay. We're going to hop on, yeah. we're going to hop on Ocotillo and ride to Oklahoma, okay? <laughs> oh, Ocotillo no. is a beautiful plan. That really happened. Palm Beach Rider, he goes in the, in the side chat. Someone talks shit about Rev Bond. And then they were both at the Georgia meet together. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's not something you want to have Rev Bomb I would want to talk shit about and be around. <laughs> uh, that's one short fuse motherfucker right there. Yeah. And, <laughs> smash your face like he smashed the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he needs my medication but won't take it kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny too because he's like the nicest dude at the same time. Yeah, that's what it's his channel too. I always get that. I've been, been watching Rev Bomb for um, back since when his channel was small. And like you look at, if you only look at like his big videos where he loses his shit, you'd be like, wow, this guy oh, is that's... a fucking psychopath. <laughs> like, you know, all these videos are just like walking around with his wife, like having fun, getting lunch and shit like that. Like, he's a fucking good dude. Like, come on. <laughs> I even it's said like, that to him. Like, to him or whatever i was like all standoffish and shit and like i was told to him before like at first when i just came across your videos before i knew you i was already like fuck this guy he's a douchebag (laughs) (laughs) you get to know him and he's like the exact opposite shit just don't piss him off yeah it's like if he's on the bike or not like the kind of dude that he would he would literally take a bullet for you oh yeah definitely and then someone on the side chat here that's another guy that i've met in uh real life that is a just what a nice guy what a cool dude and that's a uh, downshift eighty three, and people online think that he's like the biggest cocksucker, and he's like, totally not. He's really fucking nice guy. Yeah, he's actually oh, a cool dude. dude. He's like one of the, like, one of the first of supporter way. guys I've ever seen on YouTube. Like, go out of his way to help anybody out. Like, fucking, just a really good dude. I think with some guys, it's like when I noticed it with myself is why I bring it up. Um, if when you're on the bike and even if you're going fi- if you're on the bike at all, your adrenal gland is going a little bit faster than it should. So you're a fucking dickhead and screaming and cussing and stuff. And then when you're off the bike, some guys, then they the shit slows down and it's all like calm and hey man, you want some milk? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. People would usually would assume that I'm wild as fuck just judging. Like, if they see me ride, they'd think, like, this guy's fucking ridiculous. But then 
my helmet comes off. I'm just like, all right, let's let's sit on the couch and fucking watch TV. And I've, not, I've been with you. Anything. I've been with you at five o'clock in the morning. It's a different experience. It's, yeah, <laughs> just fucking chilling, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You want to talk about bikes? No, let's talk about buttholes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a fucking pretty vast topic. <laughs> some are vast. Some are great. Some are a mystery. Some are a weird brown color. <laughs> what's, up with, what's up with the purple ones? Yeah, I only Asian ask. Ones, I have. Asian ones are purple. Throw that shit back in the oven. It's not done. <laughs> So I better cook my own asshole then. <laughs> I'm, worried about, <laughs> I'm worried about keeping cool in California. Yeah, you, you, yeah, well, it's gonna be different, man. You you're gonna have basically zero percent humidity. So you'll be escaping that one hundred percent humidity you live in every day. So I'll be interested to see how you handle it. I'm going to die. Nah, nah, you'll be fine. I don't care, though. Yeah, I fucking hate the heat, man. If it's too hot, man, it's like unescaping, you know? It's like, oh, my God. That's Palm Springs. (laughs) Yeah. You can't escape it. You have to embrace it. There's nowhere you can go to escape the heat. Not in your room, not in the pool, nowhere. You have to allow it to wait just engulf and encapsulate you and you have to love it. You have to learn to love it. Yeah, that's my problem. I've been been in fucking 100% humidity my entire fucking life. That shit ain't going to bother me for a second. Yeah. (laughs) Well. Except for getting nosebleeds when dry heat give you nosebleeds. Yeah. It'll be like 5% humidity and 118 degrees. I, I, I wanted to type this, but somebody in the side chat said, "Back blood farts won't be a motto anymore." It wasn't a motto in the first place. It was. <laughs> it's not a motto. It's, it's a condition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got the problem. Got them fart needles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really disgusting. It was describing, <laughs> it's describing what happened. Yeah, one day on Instagram, I just I, I snapped a photo. It said "emergency" on the fucking concrete, and it was like, "What's happening?" I was like, "My ass is bleeding, yeah. farting blood." <laughs> that's where it came from. We just start joking. Now I have a pill that makes me not. So if I don't take this pill, I'll fire blood on you, like straight up. <laughs> oh my god, that's tough. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. <laughs> it's a cool fucking self defense strategy. Yeah, if I, I just I'll just go off my pill and then you're fucked. Yeah. Someone someone tries pulling a rape on old back road and he's got a fucking defense mechanism, fucking fart blood in their eye. I can, <laughs> I, can, I can see that in California. Let me ride your bike. Yeah, for back road, you can ride my bike. And I whisper to Lee or whoever's there, it's like, I can take my pill in two days. <laughs> <laughs> Blood all over it. Or like on the, like on the league where I'm talking about self defeases. It's like they try and put something in, you send something back out. <laughs> Damn. Oh, visuals. Chemi- fucking goddamn dirty bombs, man. Chemical warfare. That is definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> you put something in, you get something back out, boys. <laughs> Fucking, I wish that guy was a real human because I would just want to hang out with him every single day. <laughs> He's the funniest fucking character on anything I've ever seen in my entire life. What was this? Uh, the show, it's called The League. Just search up Rafi. Oh, oh no, League. I've seen that show. Yeah, it's just yeah. Fucking funny. Fucking Rafi, man. Like if they, His yeah. little compilations on YouTube of the shit he does and says are fucking phenomenal, man. <sighs> That was fucking shit cracked me up, man. I remember like I only saw the I saw the first two seasons, but I remember like the one dude Taco his his like job is like Taco. making ringtones. <laughs> like, yeah. Just thinking like, man, that's so real. 
Like it's it's so real. Like there's a dude out there who's exactly like this guy who just like makes ringtones and like that's his income. Makes like probably like like YouTube money. You know, he makes like mid level YouTube money. Like make sell making ringtones for fucking iPhones or some shit. <laughs> I've run into a lot of those generic ringtones on like Zedge and shit, where you can. I mean, it's like you can say Neil. I want uh, Neil, and then it's, it brings up ringtones, and there's like 140 ringtones about Neil, right? And you click on it, and it's like the same song about a whole bunch of different names, like Neil is calling, and then you click like Josh, it's like <laughs> Josh is calling. It's like okay, come on. Then, but, I mean, it's especially iPhones, like making for iTunes. People pay money for them, dude. Like they're all fucking 99 cents. It's like buying a song. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And it's random ass shit that motherfuckers have made. Like anybody can upload to it. It's like uploading fucking podcasts, fucking like that. You know? Do they get paid? I wonder if you use it if you don't. Oh fuck! Fuck yeah, dude! You don't just upload it for fun and let uh, and let Apple charge ninety nine cents for it. <laughs> well, like Zed, you download it for free though. Oh well, I think those are probably free. I mean, I'm just saying on iTunes, like somebody's getting paid. Oh right, yeah, iTunes. You fucking get paid if you do it right. I know, like fucking some dude who made a fart sound effect is like made a million dollars off that motherfucker. <laughs> but you know it's true, like whatever, like the top, like go on there, look at the top fart ringtone and look at it, like whatever number one is, and know that motherfucker has made more money than all of us combined. Off oh, yeah, of no, no, no matter how much our technology advances, we will always use it for bathroom humor. humor. <laughs> <laughs> I need to throw a fucking Arson's 12 Days of Arson Rides fucking song on iTunes. <laughs> oh, dude, I missed that song. I want to fucking listen to it. I actually, from time to time, I'll go on my SoundCloud and check messages and I'll play that one. That's like my <laughs> most liked played song on my whole SoundCloud, dude. Yeah, you do, do like every holiday, a Halloween song, an Easter song and shit. Just bring all that. I can see like there are people listening to that 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 aren't have nothing to do with my fucking youtube or any of that shit because like the amount of plays that has over all my other shit it's it's from soundcloud it's circulating on soundcloud from like personal like people looking up that shit so i'd like to see like people's feedback on it holiday <laughs> slappers I'm looking for some holiday jams to throw Man, in the mix <laughs> Arson was so fucking G on that. He he one taked that whole thing, and I think That's it only crazy. took him like two or three times. I hit That's record, mic them up, put headphones on. It literally, I think it was two or three takes, and he had that whole song done. And if you listen to that, you'll hear the end of him. He'll you'll hear a little breath, like like where he's finally just out of breath from all the twelve days and going down the list. And and <laughs> man, if you try to sing that. You will stumble a million times, and just remember, he took he did it like three takes. So, yeah. and I, I, I don't <laughs> people don't see that, but like that's a whole new set of props he gets from even me on that. Man, I can't, I couldn't even <laughs> see it like that. Arson's got what we call a quick wit. Oh so hell yeah. yeah! Oh dude, he's on another he, level. He's like he's like me. That's why he's like my best friend. He's like me, but a hundred times amplified. He's a, he's a hundred times funnier and a hundred times faster. Like I'll, I'll I'll think I said something quick and funny, and then he'll come on top of what I said ten times funnier and faster. So he's been that way since we were fucking kids, and it's always been the same person. If 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 I put a fucking motorcycle on him at, when he was fucking fifteen years old and a GoPro, you'd literally have the same person then as you do today. <laughs> And he controls it too, which is really good too. So he, he can turn it off during the live stream, I've noticed. And then oh, he's yeah. like, What'd you say? And he turns it back on. It's like, Oh, God. <laughs> We've been caught fucking walking home at two in the morning drunk from our friend's house because we live like two miles from them. And he, he talks to the cops. So, and we're all underage and shit. And he, he's so talk good at talking. He's like, Oh, yeah, we were at my friend's house. And, you know, fucking their mom said we had to go fucking couldn't get a ride and you know, he, he's just so good and quick-witted to just even get out of shit like that and we he's like, always uh, saved us and shit like that he, that's funny it's like you know jim or jim knows you and ricky man yep. and his dad is the same person i lived with him and his dad for a while too in the house in the house when we lived in Riverside together and his dad is literally a, a bigger version of him. Mm-hmm. Funny ass fucker. Your dad's fucking awesome by the way. Kind of miss him. Oh thanks man. Oh, yeah. yeah I fucking I want to see him see him again already. I had a good time with him out here. It's pretty surreal. <laughs> 
It's always cool times to visit old family members you've never seen. His wit is like exactly the same as yours, except for it's a different time period. Yeah, he's 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 oh. literally dad joke, but yeah. I guess you could say however, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does I mean, he he that cringe that he th he thinks is funny. He'll be like, "Wouldn't that be a funny skit?" Like, and you just nail me a skit, and it's total dad humor. And <laughs> <laughs> it shows. I see what you mean. But like your kids are gonna think that your humor is the same thing. They're gonna be like, "Oh, fucking, Man. fucking Derek humor." <laughs> God. It, it it only goes so far, man. It only goes so far. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Dick and ass jokes got me as far as I did. Is uh, <laughs> <at this point. laughs> I, I mean, really, in reality, isn't that all it really is? I mean, I, I, that's just we always joked around like that and just turned it into a fucking motovlog shit. At least that's what I did. Same fucking shit. You'll be riding with your kids in the sidecar and shit. And you'll let off a little queef and be like, that's just like dad. God. <laughs> <laughs> little kid saying, you busted a quaff. <laughs> oh, my God. Dad farted again and laughed at it. It was so lame, so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's so hard to think, like, into the future that far and just think, like, how shit will be. You, can't. you, are fucking, you, you know where you see it is um is on Twitter. Like, some of the shit that, like, and I follow like a lot of randoms on Twitter. Like I just, I just like randomly go through like some thread of comments and just go like one person like their profile picture look interesting. Like oh, I'll follow you. And the shit that gets shared and posted on Twitter on a regular basis, it's so fucking weird and not funny. I mean, it's just like the memes that are born there. You're just looking at this, going like, "What the f the fuck is going on here?" I feel so old. I mean, I don't know if you guys get that on Twitter. But I was actually anti-Twitter. I never gave two dicks about Twitter like most people do. And sure enough, Arson one day kind of forced me to make one. And now that's all I use the most. So I can be, I can be as dirty as I want. I'll post fucking, <laughs> I'll post fucking the, I'll, I'll, I'll be the most unpolitically correct on Twitter. Instagram. I, I try not to flood it with like memes and stupid shit, but then again, sometimes I like to because it's just fucking stupid bike pictures <laughs> all the time. But yeah, Twitter is like where all the good shit is, and you'll see unedited shit. You'll actually see like dirty ass fucking shit, dirty humor. Exactly. Sex humor. Twitter is like I don't feel when I'm on Twitter, like I'll post six times in a row. Like I don't yeah, know. yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking <laughs> about. Like you feel like you can just talk on Twitter, like just post shit. <laughs> yeah, because I, I mean, like, if I made, I would never make multiple Instagram posts in a row. Like, if I make two Instagram posts a day, I feel bad, and like, I don't know why I shouldn't, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, I feel weird just to even post like, like events or even shit that I'll be at. I'll feel like, man, why the fuck? Ain't, ain't no one gonna give a fuck about this shit. No, I'll, I'll even not even want to post shit like that. And that's exactly what I think you're talking about. Like that kind of feel you just don't want to post shit like. Exactly, it's like the yeah. shit that. B roll. It's like it's like yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, or something. You know, that's a really good way of putting it. B roll, like like Twitter is like you could throw your B roll and deleted scenes, but Instagram's where you bring your fucking A game in your main movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes, still the Wild West hasn't been censored yet. Yeah. I say this. No, he's right. Francesca yeah. just literally showed me a video of an old guy busting, dancing butt naked on Instagram with his little fucking wrinkled pecker flopping. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I guess I take back what I said. <laughs> I guess Instagram has it too. I just must not look hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, but there you go. That's that's Twitter, man. Neil's got it right. <laughs> Feels like the wild west. Yeah. You're just like, hey, yeah. any, any like motherfucking goes here. Like YouTube used to be, <laughs> yeah. And they and they let you do longer videos, which I kind of want to start taking advantage of because I think it's like a minute forty seconds you can do on on Twitter. Really? Yeah, it's it's over a minute. Like you can do the minute videos on on Instagram, but you can do way longer videos on Twitter. I started trying to like to like put my shit on there because you gave me shit for it the other day. Fuck yeah, dude! Two weeks ago, <laughs> well, said, I, I, gained, gained a little traction. I've been fucking been trying to share everything you fucking post, so you'll pay more attention to Twitter. That's oh, where the cool kids are hanging out. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm up to uh, what 540 followers on Twitter. Oh my god! Wow, legit. I'm legit on there now, dude. I follow so many people on Twitter that, it, and it's funny because. There, I follow a lot of non motor vloggers on Twitter because, like, there's not for whatever. There's, I mean, some motor vloggers use Twitter, but not a. Shit. 
I only follow you guys on Twitter pretty much. You know, I follow a lot of like normal YouTube channels on Twitter. And these are dudes who like you go on YouTube and they got like, you know, seven, eight thousand subscribers or like even less a lot of times. But on Twitter, these motherfuckers got like 50,000 followers <laughs> and I always and I don't give a shit. But I was like comment on their shit. And or like you know I follow them on Twitter and I watch all this shit and I'll like comment on it and say shit and they like they ignore me because I don't have a big Twitter. And I'm just looking at them like motherfucker. If you only knew. Like, <laughs> do you have any idea who I am? I, I want to say that all the time. I never do, but I'm always just like you. You know who I am? And I'm just like I doesn't. <laughs> Obviously, Rural disturbance has a soundboard uh, drop of you saying that very same thing. Yeah. Do I mean, you know I'm, who I am? I follow these. I follow. I follow them because I like their fucking content, not because I'm like worried about them noticing me. So I don't care that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really. I don't really get down on there. I don't know. It's not a whole lot for me to look at. I guess. Not following the right accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess pretty much. Nero go has a funny my, show. Go through my following list and go through like. Like, for instance, one of my favorite ones is 30 Second Fights, and it's, like, just a whole bunch of fight videos, and, like, I don't know if you're into that shit, but I fucking love fight videos. And then, yeah, it's just a bunch of videos of people getting fucking knocking each other out and shit. I get off on those, and there's, um... Oh, I follow one something-something crackheads. I forget what it's up, but it's literally crackhead videos submitted from around the world of just, like, crackheads doing, like, the most crackheaded things, and I don't know, I... <laughs> That's why. That's why I watch. I have Twitter because that kind of shit. I can't fucking gonna, see a a nice, nice, uh, concentrated like fucking batch of videos like that in one place like that. Yeah. And it's, and it's YouTube. And it's, I'm gonna go through all right. these places. They upload like several times a day, and just like 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 who I forget who just said it. Like YouTube used to be. Neil said it. Like YouTube used to be like the really fucked up videos. Oh, yeah, they're actually if you just. I haven't done it recently, but you can literally just search 18 and then the plus sign and you'll have all them fucking beheadings and Syria videos and shit popping up like down the feed and you'll come across them. You just, you really have to dive deep in the ocean for that one. Oh, dang. But you could search the right terms and find shit. <laughs> oh man, They're I'm going like through your dumb. following list right now. There's some funny shit in here. Yeah. You, know Nero, you gotta follow Nero on there too. Nero is funny. Oh, oh yeah, not Nero. only Nero, Forio Hooligan. That guy is funnier. Forio, yeah, dude. Forio fucking cracks me up, man. Forio oh. always, like, he, he's always fucking making me laugh. My ass. <laughs> oh, I got hit cunts. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, the Fobra. Yo. How far are you from Arson right now? How far am I from Arson? He's in your area right now. He's not in New York, is he? Yeah, right now he is. I get out he's of like, here. He's right. He's in. Last I checked, he was like Ooh. around the. I mean, actually, I don't know if he wants me putting the where he's at. So no, yeah, no, I can't tell you where he's at. <clears throat> I'm gonna text him right now. That's where he uh, last was that I fucking. Where the fuck are you? That's pretty much perfect, right? Dude, if I was there, I would... Man, if I didn't have a beer with you out there, I'd fucking slap myself in the face. Oh, I had no idea he was out here. Yeah. He's out there for a week. Oh, when did he get here recently, or is he leaving soon? Uh, he's He came, I think, uh, yesterday or two days ago. All right. Yeah, man, if you can, make sure you connect with him out there. Fucking, yeah, I gotta, we got to make this happen. I don't know how busy he's going to be, though, because he's out there helping out some family moving and shit. But, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll have some time. I see he's been posting on Instagram him buying, talking about how whiskey's three times more expensive out there. So I'm sure he's got some time. <laughs> he said he had to fucking do something like go 30 minutes away to fucking find someone that sold whiskey because you guys don't have them in your grocery stores. I don't know. Yeah. From what I saw, he spent he posted um a picture of him buying two bottles of whiskey and it cost ninety dollars or some shit like that. And over here that would cost yeah. probably fifty or sixty max. Yeah. The Knob Creek's a little bit more pricey out here than well compared to Jack, but ain't no fucking eighty five, ninety dollars for those two. Is Knob Creek considered a better whiskey than Jack? 
Or yeah. is it more of a preference thing? It's a it's a better it's a better whiskey. It's better like quality. Uh, yeah, better quality, higher proof. It's like a I think it's a hundred proof. It's not blended either, right? It comes from the cask, right? It's a cask whiskey. I think so. I think so. It's well, it's made by the same company who makes like Booker's and Hazel Baden, yeah. and, and yeah. Knob Creek is like yeah. their lowest. Yeah, it's right. popular down here. It's like they have the wax uh, seal on the top of mm-hmm. the bottle. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I like it. People love to talk shit about, um, and Jim Beam makes all those products. And not that they make them, but they own that whole fucking conglomerate of whiskeys. But let me tell you, yeah. people love to talk shit about Jim Beam. They fucking stay true to their shit, man. I love Jim Beam. Great product. I tell you straight up, man. Me and Jim Beam, we go way back. Is Jim Beam considered like a cheaper whiskey or something? No, not necessarily. It's I guess you would consider it a, More a, sta- a standard whiskey, like a like a uh, classic whiskey. Yeah. I oh. feel like I use it for the well at the shame. Yeah, I feel like it's a couple bucks cheaper than Jack. Yeah, I just like it because it's a it's an actual bourbon. You know, it, it's an actual true bourbon whiskey. Man, it has its own thing going on. It's a little sweeter than Jack. It's a little smoother than Jack. It goes better in highballs. I don't know, man. I'm a Jim Beam. What they've done, they've, they've, not that they've like taken over all these small craft guys, but they encourage Jim Beam, like Beam Global, which is a really, is a gigantic fucking company. It actually just sold again, I think. Like Pinnacle Vodka owned it for a while. But like as it sits now, they really encourage these small guys to make craft whiskey. And it's actually pretty cool. It's the exact opposite of like, you know, uh, InBev and Budweiser buying up all these small craft breweries and, and like forcing them along the line to like, this is how you do things when you work for fucking Budweiser, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> InBev is buying everybody right now. They have all of it now. Yeah, there's a bunch it's, of them. That's, that's what if people don't know. They're like, you look at, there is, you know, Apple and Android. There is Republican and Democrat. And there is InBev. And there is SAB Miller. Yep. And those are the two fucking beauties. And, but InBev dwarfs Miller. Yeah. And then after that, I think it's Heineken is the third largest one. And they're minuscule compared to, to yeah. SAB Miller. <clears throat> and uh, InBev. InBev, if anybody's wondering, is Budweiser. <clears throat> now owned by the Germans again. <laughs> the Germans. <laughs> so if you're drinking Bud, you can proudly tell everyone you're drinking a German beer. <laughs> yeah, InBev, InBev is owned by by a German company. InBev is a German owned company. Yeah, right. It was a Belgium owned company. Right. Yeah, but and, and they own everything. There's a few places that are um, that are like have been spared from it, but not the ones you would think. Like like Spaten is an InBev is owned by InBev now. I think that. I think that Krumbacher is still independent. You know who's still independent in Germany is Kostritzer, the black lager. Oh, yeah. They are still 100% independent. Damn. Anyway, I, we're talking about boring-ass beer shit. No, I love this kind of stuff, so you're, it's not bothering me. I'm looking up information on InBev because now there's a question as to who currently owns them. You're uh, saying Bud is, Budweiser is German? Maybe? It's owned by a German company. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a con- it's a conglomerate. Do they still have their factories out here in America? Yeah, yeah they still make their beer in America. They, okay. make their, they actually make their beer all over the place. They've got factories in Africa. They've got factories in Europe. That's so essentially what, this German company that's based in Germany just owns it. Well, when, you, when you reach a size, like, and I, I know you can't even call it a German company. Like yeah, it's a it's a multinational conglomerate. It's it's a it's a it's a global company. Just like Budweiser is a global beer. You can't even say that saying calling Budweiser an American beer is a marketing ploy. That's they, outside my smarts level. They have a factories all over the world. Like if you if you went to South Africa and you drank a Budweiser, that beer will have been brewed in Africa. Have any of you guys been to South Africa? No. No, yeah. that'd be sweet though. No, I would. I would love to. Cool ass pictures of, of South Africa and that looks tight. I don't know if it'd be sweet or not. Actually, I don't know. Um, Motorrad Yingling is is also independent. South Africa kind of seems like a shithole to me when I look at it. No, man, it's fucking beautiful down there. Yeah, I always hear of people going there for vacation. It's probably it's probably like fucking 
like Mexico, where there's like lots of beautiful places, but there's also really bad places. <laughs> down there, there's the, the diamond mines and stuff, uh, right? Down there on the coast is like surfers' paradise. Man. Holy crap, there's man! Beaches, fucking. Inbev in in currently has over two thousand beer brands, <clears throat> including Stella, Brahma, Bex, Corona, Lefe. Uh, oh my gosh, dude! You know, here's a funny one to me, Lefe. Lefe, that recipe is a thousand years old. Yeah, the and the so is the yeast strain, by the way. That's fucking insane. Yeah. Company. That is a thousand years. You're drinking yeah. a beer that is the exact same beer that yeah. some motherfucker was drinking a thousand years yeah. ago. Those those monks have kept kept that. that yeast strain alive <coughs> for and for one thousand years. They're using the same they're using the same yeast they were using in, you know, the year I think you know, eleven hundred like or something. Thousand years. I think it's like twelve forty. All right, yeah, dude. yeah, almost a thousand years. Like, it's close uh, enough for rock and roll, motherfucker. They've been using the same beer yeast since the twelve hundreds or thirteen hundreds. Check this out. Uh, South Africa last updated um, 4 24, 2017. It says South Africa has the highest crime rate in the world. Yep. Uh, highest electricity price in the world. Third highest food prices in the world. Highest unemployment in Africa. The most expensive cellular rates in the world, highest number <laughs> of rapes in the world, the most rapes in the world, fourth highest among forests out, out of the countries in the world. It's the fourth highest murder rate, uh, country with the most public protests, highest number of AIDS in the world. And there's like you guys never watched that Nicolas Cage movie? Um, what the fuck is it? Oh, Lord of War. Yeah, where where they, they make him fuck that that fucking African. Yeah, that's it. Then yeah, 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 yeah. That fucking movie was dope. Yeah, that was a good movie. What's it called again? Lord of War. Lord that's of War. Movie. He's like trying to impress that chick, and he's got like the jet there, and then like the wind blows it off, and it shows like he rented it or some shit like that. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, I, I, I identify with that. Like, yeah, that movie's a true story too. Yeah, or mostly, I guess. You know, however fucking Hollywood spins it, but it's based off of a true one. Fucking nuts, man. Yeah, it's based after a true story, too. <laughs> it, happened, it happened in uh, Arkansas. It happened in Stephen King. <laughs> God, I hope they don't fuck that up. <laughs> they already fucked it up, dude. I've had a lot of emails to me. It was like, dude, did you sell your makeup, to, uh, your fucking face to... Paramount or whoever that was like no. Yeah, I don't fucking like. I don't. I I hated the original one. Like people were like, "Oh, Tim Curry, it like the miniseries." I thought it was fucking terrible. Um, I like the book, but I, yeah, Tim Curry's he has to be in a special kind of movie to like him. It's I, I love. Him. Well, I mean, I, I love Tim Curry in a lot of things. My favorite is Tim Curry and Clue, but I didn't think it any wise. Legend is my favorite. I guess. <laughs> oh, as the devil. That's a fucking. Yeah. He was funny in Home Alone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump was in Home Alone too. He, he was indeed. Job. Had a little cameo going there. You know, he was in What's the next? When's, uh, when's the Harley coming out, Lee? What's the deal? Uh, pretty soon, actually. I don't know, like the streets were covered in sand and shit, and I don't ride in that stuff just because I already know I'm going to fucking crash because <clears throat> I have a hard time keeping my shit together when I get my helmet on. But uh, <laughs> pretty soon, like uh, it fucking snowed today somehow. Like it was like freeze Celsius, so whatever the hell that is in Fahrenheit the other day, and then all of a sudden it snowed the next day. But uh, <clears throat> it's, all, it's already all half melted, so... Probably by the end of the week, we'll be we'll be riding. Nice man, you still gonna do that Starbucks skit? <laughs> yeah, no shit. This would be the perfect man, time. To I don't want to. I don't want to say too much because, but I was like, that shit is trending like a motherfucker, man. Should have done it like a week or two ago already. But I don't know. It's still like just when you. It, I feel like I get fucked up sometimes. And I'm like, man, this shit is blowing up. Like this is trending. And then I'll, it'll come to a point where like, nah, it's played out. It's past. But I feel like we're in, since we've got our finger on the pulse of that kind of shit, 
like we're in a weird position because I'll say that a lot of time, like, oh, that's past, that's dead. Then I'm like, well, now everybody knows about it. Fuck, like, and it's still going like a month later when I think it's played out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I should probably get on that. I've been talking about it for like a fucking year. But I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it should be, uh, I don't know. They said they were going to clean the streets this week, but, but now with the snow and shit, it'll probably be towards the end of the week where they actually clean the streets and then I can start riding and stuff. People have been riding here already, which they're out of their fucking minds. But uh, <clears throat> half of them have gone down already, which is pretty hilarious. Because I've... I've done it too because there's so much sand and gravel. I actually like in the video I, f- I filmed the other day, I talk about it. and I, uh, I've ridden this early in the year and like I can't turn that thing off my brain that says fucking start throwing. Fucking Canada. You'll run in one of those patches of sand cornering hard and you just go some. Yeah, that's fucking scary. I get scared enough on sand off-road with a dirt bike with off-road tires on and I can't imagine it on a fucking street bike. Yeah. Even on my mini bike, like buzzing around the neighborhood and shit, there's been a few times I've almost lost it going around a corner because of the sand and shit there. So, and that's, that's not a 700 pound Harley on one wheel. (laughs) Don't you love people with gravel driveways too, man? It all gets crushed and that's spread across the road, usually right on a fucking curve. (laughs) <laughs> just running over these fucking pea gravel all of a sudden. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's basically what our entire roadway system looks like for the first couple months of spring. <laughs> it really does, because all the fucking shit they put down during the winter time, just so you don't slide off the road to your death. Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you this: for anybody watching this who is uh, either beginning to ride or wants to get into riding. Yeah, as somebody who's been riding for a long time, I have learned more in two years of riding off road than I have the entire time I I spent riding street bikes. Yep, that's what I tell everybody, man. Literally everybody, everyone that wants to like ask me shit because they always I usually get the more advanced questions like how do I get good? How do I do this and this? And I tell everybody, ride a dirt bike, man. You'll you will learn so much more off road than you will anywhere else, and you'll learn it way faster. Yeah, it's been insane. Like I'm, I'm, and still, like, and it's been all, a couple of years now that I've been doing it. But I'm still like, like I, if I if I had to sell one set of bikes, it would be my street bikes. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up off road riding. Like it's, I'm like obsessed with getting better at it because like yeah. it, I feel like it's easy to build like the first set of skills. Like I feel like I can ride on almost any terrain and not crash at a, at a moderate pace. Like that's not a problem. Yeah, Which this is a problem in the beginning. Like when I first rode, it was like that was a problem I, and I, that getting to that level was easy, but like taking the next step is a giant fucking leap. Yep. Uh, this is the first year in fuck. I don't know how long this is the first year I haven't had a dirt bike since, I don't know. I was like a little, little kid, like five or six years old. And it's literally saddening and painful to me every time I open the door to my garage and not see one there. But you do, you have a new age dirt bike, little mini fuck. Well, everybody's doing it. Doing it. That doesn't Dude. count. But. Everybody's doing it though. <laughs> yeah, no, off road is that's where my heart lies is and stuff. Then hopefully I can afford to get another one soon. I well I had to sell my bike just to be able to maintain a channel. So that was kind of the sacrifice I had to make make to be able to do this. But that would be so fucking sweet though. Like and you will, my I feel like you have to out of everybody. Like you have to, like out of everybody who fucking does it, like, are you kidding me? You put so much fucking work into your shit. Like, how can your channel not do it? You know, (laughs) I ask myself that shit every day, every day, like the odd time. Like I don't, I'm not one of those fucking social blade lurkers that what checks their shit every day, but there's sometimes I'll go and check it and just be like, God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Blade multiple times a day. (laughs) <laughs> yeah like like i'll go check in and see how it's doing it's like oh i got 15 subscribers a day for the last little while that fucking blows dicks but whatever it's it's still fun like i i don't really care about that much it'd just be nice for it to gain some traction to the point that i can get another bike and start showing like what i can really do because the street shit is the street shit is maybe 50 percent of my potential and that's but that's where it's going to max out at, at forever because there's only so much you can do on a harley right so hey you guys watch this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Sweet yeah. punch. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know, man. I just, I'm the, I'm the same fucking way. I mean, I, I like, if I could ride off road every single day for the next fucking year, I would do it. Yeah. Dude, that's right? because I, there's so much I have to learn. Like, it's just, it's, it, it feels like, like discovering beaten off for the first time. You're just like, I want to do this every fucking day. This is the best. Like, <laughs> yeah. I want to figure out new ways to do it. And I'm going to do it with my left hand this time. And like, <laughs> <I'm not> gonna, <laughs> like, <laughs> That's something like I've even noticed it too. Like my skills have gone downhill since I stopped riding off road big time. I can feel it when I'm riding and shit. Like I just don't have the same bike control anymore that I did a couple of years ago. Oh, we just lost Tim. Oh, oh there he is in the side chat. Sorry. Oh, he's got a headache. Sorry, Tim, everybody who's watching this right now, if you don't just subscribe to Tim Craig's, you are fucking robbing yourself. Of some and cool since he's got a headache, everybody take aspirin right now for him. <laughs> oh, I'm actually probably going to go to bed too, guys. I got a fucking right. log two days ahead of me. So, uh, man. Fucking, I'm out. Looking forward to seeing some stunt videos from the fucking 125 there, Neil. Yeah, buddy. Eventually. I want to see that handbrake going down within the next two weeks. <laughs> going down on the ground, you mean? <laughs> I know. I need to That's get out. Like, the hardest thing is just find the time to go fucking go out to a lot somewhere and just start doing it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a short fall, so it's not that bad. I know. Yeah, I'm usually going like five <laughs> miles an hour when I fucking pop it up anyway. So I mean, I <laughs> wish you'd right over to the back. That's, I wish That's, you would. Uh, you gonna play some shit, Neil? Because I'm gonna twitch a little bit. I think. Oh man, I want to, but I really need to go out. to bed. I have I have a teacher training class for the next two days at work, and I need oh, to fucking. Yeah. Oh, I'd be ready it. for that shit. So, so have, all right. have a good couple days then. Yep. Uh, yeah. right. I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Have a good man. night. Sounds good, sir. Right, man. Good Later, Neil. Peace. Yeah, I wish you would have stayed because yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to see if you guys wanted to play Candyland. Play what? Candyland. How? Oh. You got a copy of it, right? <sighs> we all just set up our own boards. Oh, that'd <laughs> be <I'm> cool. <laughs> Dumb as hell. We like Candyland, Dungeons and Dragons style. I used to play chess like that a lot back when it, um, that was like the first, like when they, you could first play chess online. I used to play like I was just going to say that. It was like the first version of the internet. All you could do is play chess with people. And I would play, I played chess a lot online, but I was like, I don't know if any of you guys are enjoy playing chess i'm not saying i'm good like i'm not good at all like compared to some people but like i'm like for somebody who randomly plays chess like i'll totally wipe the floor with them but, <laughs> well it's just it is what it is like you need to practice it and so like but it's so hard to visualize it like as this little square looking down like to visualize the game so like i would play chess online but i would set up a chess board so i could so like i could look at it and like make all the moves so i can make my next move because I was a shit. I wonder if there's any nerds doing like these live streams playing Dungeons and Dragons where like one guy's a dungeon master and they're all sitting around and they all get the same man. Map. I fucking hope so. I bet they are, man. I hope so. <laughs> you guys are old, old enough to have played Dungeons and Dragons. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. No, I don't I even know how it works. Oh, well, yeah. I should know that you have. And there's videos of you racing snowmobiles when you're like three. <laughs> yeah, she never played Dungeons and Dragons. Like, <laughs> it's like technical fucking numbers. It was a lot to do with math and imagination. It was just, it kept your attention for yeah. years. You'd all like, like I had a yeah, fucking no idea how that game worked. We moved into a house that had a pump house that was abandoned. Right, the pump was jerked out of it, and it was all like brick. And we play in there because it was like an old dungeon and shit. We were dorks. Hey, you guys, um. I don't know if y'all are down for this, although as soon as I say it, you're going to have to be. Um, since we're on the last few minutes of this live stream, y'all want to take some audience questions real quick? Yeah. Say if I can maybe we start another one after this ends. Yeah, I'm down for that, too. I mean, I'm not going to hang out super late, but I'll I, I'll do another one. I got a appointment tomorrow. I mean, I'll want to do like the uh, let's talk bikes shit again, because that was cool yeah. last time. No, I think that worked out really well, like doing a bike stream. Yeah, cool. I'll, I'll fucking I'll start one up. Let's do like an hour or something. Yeah, I'm down for that. 
All right. Well, yeah. After this one's over, you guys go over to my channel in probably 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we'll we'll talk bikes and shit. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's let's knock off the jack off stuff real quick while we've got a couple minutes left. <laughs> um, let me um, ask y'all ever any of y'all have like ever had any major dental work done? Yeah, I got a yeah. few fake few fake teeth. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I got a fake. I've got a couple fake teeth, but like any of y'all ever have a root canal done? Yeah, I've had a lot of root canals, but they've all fallen out. I think I have. I've had like I had like eight cavities when I was a kid. Yeah, I'm gonna get a root canal tomorrow. I'm just I don't know if it's gonna fucking really suck or not. Well, oh, I remember as a little kid, you're just gonna get that fucking Novocaine. You ain't gonna feel shit. But being an adult, hearing the sounds, it might bother you more. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, they're not as strong as regular teeth, so you got to be careful with that fucking thing. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta get it done. I'm getting four caps. So one of which is a bridge. So that's three of them. So I'm getting a bridge and one and another cap. I took one root canal off eating beef jerky. Well, let me tell you, I'm getting the caps in gold because I'm getting four new gold teeth tomorrow. Cool. Because um, let me tell you, man, my father is 96. I don't, get, I don't get along with my dad. He's a total fucking cocksucker. But he's got like seven or eight gold teeth in his head. That are older than than like two of us combined. <laughs> I mean, he got these things like put in in the nineteen fifties or sixties or some shit like that, and they're still in his head. So Dude, I'm just the, like, fucking, the fucking Nazis would jerk those fucking things out of your head after you were. Well, I'm just so. saying, like, you can keep your porcelain teeth because those things fall out. I've had a porcelain fucking cap, and it fucking fell out, and it broke. Um, my dad has gold teeth. That were that are uh, have old enough to have fought in the fucking Vietnam War, <laughs> <laughs> like, and he's ninety six. So it's like, dude, they fucking basically last longer than real fucking teeth. <laughs> like, Jesus. Imagine how many <laughs> them things bit. 